all to yet another episode of WIC TV, a cross-ideological space where we come together to talk about issues both political and cultural, from the silly to the serious. And just so everyone's aware, and just so everyone knows, I do work with Progressive Victory. To be clear, they are not sponsoring any of this content. God, no. But I do get a check from them, just so you're aware. Hello to Novo. Hello to Dreams Peak. Hello to Mooncake. Hello to all my uh, viewers. Uh, you're in for a treat today. Uh, we're going to be talking about liberalism. Uh, last week, Sour Lemon called into the stream, and he had some thoughts. Uh, I believe one of the things he said is cut a liberal and a fascist bleeds. I invited him to come on the show to, to talk about it in a smaller format. I offered um, I offered him uh, to get him a buddy, to get him a teammate, to get him someone to kind of support him. He's declined. Um, so we got Lav, Rashad, uh, and Sour Lemon here, and we're going to talk about it. So we are going to toss the ball, first and foremost, to Sour Lemon. Tell us who you are. Tell us your thoughts on liberalism. Tell us why you had such a strong reaction. Take it away, buddy. I am a weeb first and a socialist second who runs a One Piece podcast. But uh, the my thoughts on liberalism is in the what I was calling in to say is that there's this really massive conflation uh, between anybody who is even remotely on the right side of the political spectrum between leftist progressive or socialist ideals and liberalism which uh is not only inaccurate it's very bizarre uh because if anything lots of conservatives are actually liberals uh ac at least economically speaking uh the main distinction between say a conservative and a liberal in the united states of america is on culture war issues. Uh, but there are massive distinctions between liberals and uh, socialists. And while socialists and leftists and yada yada uh, run under the banner of the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party does not actually represent said uh, parties. In fact, a lot of what the Democratic Party institutionally does is run contrary to the ideals of said groups of people. So, uh, can I ask, do you think you'll be voting for Biden come, uh, come election time? Why or why not? I prefer not to say, and the reason why is because... There's this pervasive idea in non-Republican Party circles where if you aren't going to vote for Biden, then it's going to be like your fault that Donald Trump won or like uh, he's the best option we got or what have you. Um, and what you are doing in that circumstance is you are telling everybody that regardless of what platform joe biden runs on you're going to vote for him anyways which is very destructive towards any sort of platform that you want to advocate for so should joe biden win the uh democratic caucus and should he be up on the ballot in the 2024 election Sure, I will strongly consider voting for him as opposed to the options of either not voting or voting third party. Um, but realistically, I'd rather not let such intentions uh, cloud the conversation because then that lets Joe Biden get away with doing the worst policies imaginable and just doing exactly what the Republican Party does anyways, like most recently the uh, immigration re reform that he passed was exactly what Donald Trump and the conservative party wanted in the time period between 20, even beyond his presidency. Uh, it's exactly what they advocated for. Uh, and I don't want that. I don't think that should be the case. I don't think we should give Joe Biden the leniency to institute whatever policies he wants or the democratic party as an institution for that matter because a lot of that immigration 
reform was due to the Democratic Party, not just Joe Biden. But I don't want to give these people the leniency to do whatever the fuck they want just because they can have the confidence that a large segment of their voter base is so anti-Republican that they're going to be voted for anyways. You need to tell these people what it is you want, and you need to give them reason to implement what you want. Uh, any thoughts on this so far, gang? Is this any part uh, of the discussion? Go ahead. Yeah, so the whole not voting for Joe Biden thing because it insinuates that regardless of what platform he runs on, you're going to vote for him anyways, which is destructive to what, you know, people might want to advocate for. I mean, it seems like you're arguing like voting for Joe Biden is kind of like you're, you're arguing in a, in a, in a, your argument comes from a vacuum as if there aren't consequences for Biden not winning, as if there aren't consequences for Trump winning and becoming you know, the president. When those consequences occur or rather when it matters in November, you know, when it doesn't matter, in January, February of this year, I am going to support the platform of politicians that I think represent my ideas uh, it, more strongly or in front of the platform of Joe Biden prior to any sort of election in which he's on the ballot or in which he's the only person on the ballot. I'm going to go for the person that I think represents me better. So I think I think your problem and a lot of America's problem, especially on the left, is not thinking in a collectivist mindset. I think if you think that you are going to vote for someone and that your vote matters so little that you're just going to support someone. I mean, ultimately, you would vote for Biden. Ultimately, you would vote for Biden. So I don't know what this like virtue signaling to like a green party or a third party is going to do, because ultimately you wouldn't write in that person. Right. Because that's that's you don't want Trump to win. So this idea that like, it's very, it's not liberal, it's very libertarian. And I have a very strong problem with like leftist libertarians because I think they're fucking retarded. Like, but there's something very positive about that is that you guys will never win any election because of how retarded you are. So this is pretty inconsequential to me. But okay. just as advice to you, just advi as advice to you, you need to start thinking collectively. That's that's the way that the world works. I do think collectively. I do advocate for class consciousness. Uh, I and the reason why the left never wins in a lot of cases is do you think a lot more to do, do with that? systemic issues than it, it like with like uh, what? Yeah, elaborate on the systemic issues, please. Uh, Corporate lobbying is a, is a major one. Leftists uh, and their values go against what corporations want. And so when corporations are lobbying both of the main two parties. Like when? What do you mean? Like, this is like, like a for continuous example, thing that have tax policy. Yeah, but I'd like to hear an example. Like, like tax policy and uh, green energy policy. Like uh, oligarchs, or rather oil barons uh and the Koch brothers being the most prominent example of this uh continuously and constantly fund government officials and uh and uh media groups that perpetuate uh ideas you sound like a trump voter I, I sound like a Trump voter for Trump's platform as as talks about this a lot. Like he talks about this a lot. He's very against it. Y yeah, uh, he's not. No, he's not against oil. <laughs> what uh, what Trump says? He doesn't is... explicitly say that he's against oil because you can't. If you're running a platform, if you're trying to run for president, you're not. You what don't want to take hard stances on anti, anything. What Trump says, he's anti-corruption. He says, "I am going to get rid of all of the the swamp and the and the deep." state people and the government and not only is he proven to not do that uh but also he's like one of the most corrupt people that has ever been in government you think so yes there's Why like a that? shitload of lawsuits that would point to this fact there's the fact that he went to be impeached twice for very notable reasons <laughs> i don't know if he's the most corrupt i'd say but i think he's as corrupt as any other politician Hold on, Sour. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. So, because the average, I want to ask you, you um, 
I feel like you insinuated that because the average liberal has more in common economically with conservatives than hard leftists and socialists, they're fascist in some sense. Like, you cut a liberal, I think you said, oh, in a fascist so belief. Can that, you explain that? What do you mean by that? That has to do predominantly with foreign policy, um, but it can have to do with economic policy as well. So what's your position on foreign policy? Do you disagree with Joe Biden? Like, what's I do your... in many ways. In what way? Um, so the common thing that happens historically for liberalism is the current war is bad but the past or sorry the past wars were good but the current war is bad you see this with the vietnam war with the korean war with the iraq and afghanistan wars do you think the korean war was bad i do think that the korean war was bad do you think america should not have been involved in the the korean war Th that is correct was it because it was in, a, in an attempt to, like, what's your what's your reasoning for that? It is my understanding that the political party that became South Korea uh, was in a very, like, authoritarian and uh, uh, a very authoritarian government that uh, was not very kind to its people. Uh, I don't know if they necessarily went so far as like executions, so to speak. In the same okay, so in modern speech. times, what's your in modern times? Which conflict are you upset about? Because you referenced Israel Palestine, you Israel. said genocide the last time we spoke. So that's yes. your that's your that, uh, is, that so, is the that is the current conflict that liberals right now are saying. Yeah, let's go Israel, let's go Israel, and then in twenty years we're going to be like, I oh, I can't believe that. I don't think that's Israel what's happening. Genocide I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think that's I've, what's happening. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's like very uh, like pro. Not even like. I think there are a lot of liberals who are soft Zionists because I think that that's the right position to take because I think most people are moderate on the issue, right? Or I'd like to hope that most people are moderate on the issue. But uh, I I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that they completely back like a hard Zionist stance and that Netanyahu is doing nothing wrong. So... I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say that. So here's the uh, before you respond, five dollars from Lav and Matt Pitt forever. Team Jesus Lav forever. Christ. Matt, stop. <laughs> Matt's doing this weird psyop. Okay, so, sorry about that. I had to get my money. Go ahead. So here are the dynamics at play with opinion on Israel and Palestine. Uh, for many decades, since the institution of Israel as a state, uh, the United States of America uh, regardless of like political party um for very much so uh across the most of the political spectrum most of the political spectrum uh was very pro israel very zionist uh and if you take why? a look what do you mean why like why <laughs> israel was a state founded by a bunch of armed uh zionists trained by the british you government know they, to you know that they were socialists the right of, uh, no the zionists were not socialists <laughs> wait are you actually kidding right now to my knowledge zionists the were founder, not socialists the, the founders of zionism were basically like militant socialists and they created israel basically was supposed to be like a series of communes like it, they are it. The whole the whole state is completely founded on socialism, and then it changed into something different as they the population changed. But I I I think it's crazy that you don't. I think even, it's crazy you don't know that. Even if that is the case, uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, what they did was push a bunch of native people out of their land in the Nakba. Uh, you know why? I Whoa, how, why did the Nakba happen? What caused yeah, the Nakba? Exactly. Because what they, caused the Nakba? Because they wanted to take their holy land back or whatever. Hold on, and, hold on, hold on. And be, there's, and no way you, there's, no way you, there's no way you just said that. Come on, you know and, there was a war that was started by the surrounding Arab states to, to get Israel the fuck up out of here, no. and it didn't work. Yeah, right. Israel, Israel went Jews there first. In general. Yeah, Israel went there first. They were surrounding Israel. The Israel, surrounding Israel, states like declared war on Israel, Israel because Israel yeah, and went they, there. And they lost, right? And they lost, right? Okay, they that lost. doesn't... Okay, so Mike, say, okay so you're saying Mike makes within, right. Within, so you're saying, saying Mike right. makes right. Hold on, hold on, it's hold not on, a matter of... Rashad, let's how it's getting a 2v1 here. Right, you're right, you're right. The thing I want to drive home, though, is not necessarily the history of Israel, because I'm... 
sure there's a lot of spotty uh, things in my knowledge of the history of Israel. The thing I want to drive home is the current uh, existence of Israel, what Israel is currently doing. Because regardless okay. of how Israel got there, currently they are conducting an ethnic cleansing campaign. And Whoa. it is... I'm not Whoa. exaggerating on this. Wait, you I are... want... Wait, hold on. I actually... Kind of. I want you to tell me... Do, do you know the percentage of difference between Arab and Israeli, like, um, like ethnicity? Like, do you know the, the, the percentage difference? Why does that matter? Because if it, there's why, an why ethnic cleansing... So they're 80% alike. So Arabs ethnic, and Israelis are almost completely is the same ethnicity. People. It doesn't matter how, like, family tree close okay. the Israeli people well, are. Well, no. So when you talk about... So Kendrick when, to say WAV. Thank you. For so when you talk about ethnic cleansing, it's basically... Uh, you need to look up the, the definition, which I, I can I, tell you or I can wait for you to Google it. I, I can tell you that Palestinian is in ethnicity and they are conducting a campaign to cleanse palestine did you know that 20 percent of israel's population identifies as palestinian uh, okay that doesn't change what they have done to the palestinian pal population no i think it does change to... no i think it does change what you're saying that they're doing no it doesn't they've killed over no, because 15, when you ask, so what is ethnic cleansing? Effectively, every that's war. hospital. That's war. Desi desi no, it's not. These are war crimes. These are that's, like, these are, that's, that's, that's okay. War. Hold on. What do you, what do you think the, what do you think Israel's response to October 7th should have been? They should have understood the cause of October 7th. And Jesus Christ. They should have just peaceful. What about the cause? What about the okay, cause hold, of hold on, hold on. You got to give him space to finish his answer. Come on. If go they, ahead, if they wanted answer. to conduct a violent retaliation, then they should have done said violent retaliation against Hamas. What they have done with their violent retaliation is conduct it against the people of Gaza as a entirety. And if you're going to say that according to Israel, every Palestinian is Hamas, then go ahead and say it because that's what Israel says. <laughs> Let me get okay. Hold on a second. You do realize that in all wars, especially a war of projectile warfare, missiles, rockets, bullets, bombs, you do know civilians are going to die, right? Like, do, are we on the same page there? You do know are we on that the same page of, there. You do know that half of the missiles that Israel has fired have been indiscriminate targeted, and that they have had no care. For the people that they have killed, they've demonstrated. That's actually not well, true. Well, how is it possible so, wait, for on, Israel on, to truly know? That's how, that's wait, hold on. Regardless of whether or not you know there are missiles that are not hitting their target, uh, the IDF is occupying a lot of Gaza right now. They're sending troops into Gaza to tell people to get out of their houses, and, and because then all of these people the and escape because... routes and they're bombing the humanitarian aid and they're no, killing so the people me, escaping. Hold on, hold these on. Are so things Hamas, that are happening. Hamas is. De Hamas is deliberately telling their people to become martyrs in this situation. They, they, Israel they is will... making every Palestinian a martyr. This only Basically, solidifies Hamas. So is position. the IDF every will go into an apartment? That they kill the IDF will go Hamas. into an apartment and say, "Leave Hamas the premises. We are going time. to One bomb." Last finish and then you can respond. Go ahead. The IDF bomb. will go into an apartment building and say, "Leave the premises." This is going to go down now, which I understand is horrifying, right? Like, to be living in this place that already is humble, right? To have your whole life in this apartment building and now you have to get your whole family out. Terrible feeling, right? A lot of people are either deciding to not leave and just to go down with their ship and to die in their homes. Or Hamas is directly telling them, this is, this is fake, do not leave. They're calling their bluff. Or they're saying, you will go to heaven if you die in war. This is the cause that you are supposed so, to die for. So, so, so at this point, how do we just at this point say, oh, well, fuck it. Hamas is, uh, you know, telling people to not leave. So we can't, we can't do this war. We can't do this war anymore because there's civilians here. That's not, that's not how war works. Okay, five dollars from Jenny Burns to say I don't know what Egyptian mummy you unearthed to make the lab the reasonable one on the panel, but put it back. We've seen the havoc mummies can. This is so stupid. Um, I do want to kind of bring this back to yeah. how yeah. this started to kind of liberalism in general, because you mentioned you have problems with the way Joe Biden is handling this. Can you? That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I don't, I didn't mean to steal your thunder, buddy. But uh, so Sour, can you kind of give us your uh criticisms of of 
Joe Biden's handling of this uh, and the foreign policy in general, and then maybe we can focus on that a little bit. Reevaluate why Palestinians are poor and why Israel is destroying their houses regardless of evacuation and whether or not Israel is killing the evacuees. That's what I'll say on that matter. In regards to Joe Biden, the United States of America is Israel's number one military ally. They gain over well over $10 billion in military aid. What this means is that most of Israel's missiles that they're, and other munitions that they are using to destroy uh, Gaza are United States manufactured and sold muni munitions. What Joe Biden can do, and I think should do, is cut aid, cut military aid to Israel so that they no longer are able to conduct so you're America first. campaign. So and, you're America first. And push for a ceasefire. And no, I am not America first. Are you, are you I am a American imperialism. I'm American imperial imperialism is bad. Okay, ten dollars so you... Harrison to say oppressed. You know what's so and funny? Oppressor checkmate. Thank you for the ten dollars. You know what's uh, so funny is that people like you want to replace Western capitalism and our current, uh, you know, establishment to Western Marxism, which is so funny. It's still white in nature. It's still Christian secular in nature, but it's this like different type where you think that you're helping the brown people and you think that leaving them to do whatever is their thing and you don't value having a western stronghold in the middle east which is just not yeah, logical I, from the I, perspective yeah. of a country that wants to gain power and keep in power you need to seriously um, reevaluate what america's military presence in the middle east has done because it's been a direct cause of 9 11 we destroyed unnecessarily. You know that oh. women. Yeah. You know. Wait, hold, oh. you know oh. hold on. Hold on. Hold on, gang. Because you gotta let him has, finish. Because it has. It has. It has. You gotta let him finish. American military presence in the Middle East has empowered the religious fun fundamentalist groups that exist there. Sure, you can do you know argue, why? okay, do you know why? religious fundamentalist no. groups like oppress there's, women No, there's a fundamentalist, there's a fundamentalist but, group pushing back because of the progress that's been happening. So no, at least it, last no. year, yes, because now no. Western values are entering the Middle East. Women are this taking is, off their hijabs. Women are is, saying, we want to go to school. And there has been a huge fundamentalist backlash to that precisely this yes you are absolutely right that they're fighting back idea you like if what do you, you mean if yeah if you go to these other countries and you see the devastation wrought by america and you speak to the people there they like, what's the devastation brought by their, america their perspective is that america is the bad guy America yes, is the more significant because they are religious extremists no they that's think they're all whores because, and degenerate no it's because america goes there and kills their people bombs their homes and destroys their country. Oh, like, if I you take wanna... a look at the Iraq War, American military casualties somewhere around 2,000. Iraq casualties around a million. And many war crimes committed don't in the do process. A, don't do a invasion. terrorist attack with the largest I country. Don't fund the military, or don't fund the religious fundamentalist groups that do the terrorist attack against America. Because guess what? The reason why Al Qaeda wait, wait, had what? the had the influence and the money to do the 9/11 attacks and the, and why they had the impetus to do so is because of the decades prior in which American foreign policy was to prop up these religious extremist groups in order to fight Whoa. against communist influence. I do want to pass okay, hold, hold, hold on. on. Hold 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 on. Okay, it's no secret that Israel and and the U.S. are homeboys, right? Um, we send them, you know, was it billions in aid and yeah. stuff like that, and we fund their munitions, we make munitions for them. We blah, also blah, send blah. Palestinians millions in aid. To be right, clear. we do that. Not as well. billions Here, and significantly less than hold the armed hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Probably because it was surrounded black by your country. Man is speaking on Black History Month. Hold on, thank <laughs> he you. He pulled the card, gang. Okay, he <laughs> pulled yeah. the card. I had no choice. I had no fucking choice. I had no choice. I'll put it back. I swear to God, I'll put it back. Um. Here's my problem. You want us to cut aid to Israel. So what do you, Israel, in my mind, is a hyper-paranoid state. They're always looking around, waiting to see when someone's going to attack them next. 
Do you really want a hyper paranoid state that is, you know, very aggressive and angry right now? Do you really want them to walk away from American influence and maybe walk into the hands of Russia or China? Because she and Putin are playing a really good game of being anti-Israel now. But wait until America walks away from Israel. And now they have the benefit of being buddy-buddy with Israel. Then what? Because I don't really see much of a reason for China to give that much of a fuck about the Palestinians. Why wouldn't they take our absence as an invitation to step in and gain their own control in the region? Us having Israel as an ally gives us a geopolitical advantage in terms of if, if there were ever a world war we'd be able to deploy troops from israel to any location in north africa you know um western asia we would have a strategic position why do you want to give that up you want to give it up because of war crimes which i know sounds because, fucked up but you want to guilt. give it up because of war crimes because no he wants to give it up because white guilt he thinks that colonialism is all is always bad he thinks that the spreading of western values is always bad because he wants to leave the uh you know the the Arabs to just rape 14 year old girls because that's their culture. That's their culture. We just have to you let them do it. You got to fight these allegations, bro. She's calling you. You, you got to fight these allegations. You got to fight back. Yeah. Why I would just... we spread our white values? Why would we do that? Let, let him, let him, let him respond, please. Because the white values that you are supposedly espousing are not that far dissociated from what you were saying the brown people do. <laughs> oh uh, my God, buddy. Can you elaborate Christian a little secularism? bit? Secularism? Are you kidding me? It is. It has been the reason why you sit in your apartment right now and do nothing and live with your fucking mother. You don't have to fight in a war right now. You don't. You get to watch all the porn that you want because of Christian secularism. That is definitely. You were not forced to marry a thirteen-year-old because of Christian secularism. <laughs> I, this is, it's, it's like so preposterous and so Islamophobic. What's, I like don't know how to respond is it, to it. Okay, so Islamophobia not, implies not, the irrational fear, the irrational fear of Islam, right? What is not to you fear? You certainly sound very uh, scared of Islam right now. I am rationally, hold on, I am rationally, I am rationally scared time of out. Islam. Time out, time out. We're going to talk about this, but I want to offer... Uh, Sour Lemon, I can bring someone on to defend you if you'd like. To help you need you. a teammate. You bro. need a. I'm you need a lie. buddy. Like you need a buddy. It, <laughs> who would you be bringing on? I'll 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 put the call out. There's some people in my chat right now who'd probably uh take the reins, right? I don't know. Um, I'd find someone. Um, I'll look for them while you guys talk, and I'll make sure that you have um. Final say, but I'll do that for you because... Let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. Laugh. I am rationally fearful of Islam. A militant, not only is it a religious text, but it's also um, a blueprint for their government, right? That makes the Quran different from the Bible. It tells you how to live in your everyday, and it tells you how to run a country. That's what the Quran is. And it's based on sacrificial killings of women... It's based on uh, keeping women as a second class. It's based on uh, uh, violence and terror and authoritarianism. That is everything that the American dream is against. Of course I am scared of that engulfing our politics that keep us so rich and safe. Of course. I'm a woman. If, of course if... I'm scared of Islam. If the Middle East is militant, then what does that make the United States of America? If the Middle East is fundamentalist, then what does that make a very significant portion of the United States of America? Okay, so this is, I'm not if saying- If you are not scared oh, I'm not of, that, if you are not scared of Islam, then this isn't why is bad, it that this your isn't position at least sounds war. like you are somebody who would be very against uh, a more open border policy? I am that's, against an open border policy. Yeah, that sounds like you're scared of ethnicities mixing into our bloodline. I'll give you a historical I am, comparison. I'm an indigenous. I will, I'm an indigenous Mexican Jewish woman. I will. I will you're give trying. You, I will give you. My a, family moved here away from the from horrible places. I to live in this place. I will give you an example of historically what. Hold on, a before you accuse border, before what, before what you other, keep going. You accused me of being scared of ethnicities joining. It's not that I'm scared that we're going to race mix. It's that I'm scared that our values are going to get muddied by values that are not consistent what it, that what it, with what has kept us uh, so safe and strong as a country. 
right? The fact that I can go to school, the fact that I can get a job, the fact that I can read, the fact that we're not uh, sex se segregated in schools, I, the fact that we're I, not I, race segregated I, I, in schools. I would These are I all would, Christian secular I would, values. Oh, I would, I would, <laughs> I would comment on like all of those things that you think are like can be okay. done in the United States of and America so, so easily. I want to, I want to make sure that Sour has uninterrupted chance to respond to that. I have a couple people. In well, my you interrupted. We're, we're up. Oh, I'm just letting you guys know. I have a couple of pe people in my Dems that want to come on. Um, so who would you rather have on? I'll let you decide, Sour Lemon. We could get Grace on, or we could get um, Sociological Ali on. Uh, which would you like? One's uh, a Muslim, one's a woman. <laughs> I I guess it doesn't particularly matter. I, I will pick a name out of the hat and go Grace. Um, okay, Grace, jump back to it. I, This is incredible. Okay. Uh, so, go ahead, Lab. So, or, uh, go respond to Lab. I'm sorry. I respond so to Lab. Here's, here's the thing. Uh, what, I, what I was trying to say is that historically, what a closed border policy and uh, imperialist militant foreign policy is most reminiscent of is prior fascist dictatorships more than any other type of country. Uh, and additionally, you think education is easy to get in the United States of America? Why are so many people unable to receive higher education? Because its cost is so high. It's, un it's got an unreasonable cost. There are millions of homeless people, millions of people in food insecurity. The United States of America is not some paradise that you think it is. It's got no, but it's the best thing we got. No, it isn't. If you go to in terms of values, no. in terms of values, I would say so. Well, you would, would you rather no. live in an Islamic country in comparison to the United States? Wait. Also, you want... where where's all that? Where's all whoa, the whoa, whoa, job security? Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer that one. Let him answer that one. Since you're running so much defense for Islam, I would like to hear you compare your preferences between the two ideologies. I mean, it's certainly not American ideology. I wouldn't regard. Come on uh, now. With, I wouldn't the regard two. Islam as an ideology. Do me the, guess what? Here's the thing. Do Islam, me the honor of, Islam, of picking between one or the other. Islam directly. is a religion. And in that religion. It is a religion is of laws. A, there is a massive. It is a religion of laws. No, it isn't. There is a massive yeah, oh spectrum God. of ideology. Well, I won't comment on what is written in the Quran because I've not read it. But across the. Uh, there is a large spectrum ideologically. In Islam, you can see this in the United States of America in particular. Okay. We have would you, would you progressive agree that is Muslims in our government. Would you regards... describe Israel at its purest a progressive ideology, yes or no? Be real. Like, no. Come, don't be. Don't... Israel okay, is not so progressive. You, okay, so if you had to pick between Islam... Right, and it's in its ideologies and its 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 rules, its its code of ethics, its creeds, but between that and the United States, Western nations, which would you pick and why? Each country operates differently. Oh God. Oh God. I would on, not. Bro. I would not. Come on. Choose, I would no, not. Come on, just come on, bro. Answer, I would. Answer, I would not answer, choose. Answer, I would not. No, choose it's Saudi actually Arabia. easier for it's easier for you to not for choose example. because you're a white guy. If you ask me if I'd rather live in the West or, or uh, well, yeah, fucking Palestine, which on one that do matter. you think? No, even forgetting all of my forgetting all of my brain, let's say that I have a complete rewrite. Or let's just ask any average woman, would they rather live in America or uh, fucking Saudi Arabia? What do you think they'd say? America and there's a reason for that. And why I wouldn't is that? say the reason is all good and I certainly wouldn't choose Saudi Arabia. If you ask me what country I would choose to align my values most closely sure, with which Islamic country it would, it's would gonna you be, say hold on, it's gonna stop, be Sweden. Which which Islamic country would you say is uh representative more of something you choose? So if it was America versus any Islamic country that exists currently today. Uh, you could choose anyone. Which would you choose? Of the ones that I know, potentially Turkey, but I have issues with Turkey as well. Um, well how sure, are we the Turks? Values. Wait, you it, wait. Um, my issues. The with Turks Turkey who are, are like dissimilar. actively genociding. What the fuck it, are you talking about? How in line Oh my god! I can't believe that Turks genocides happen. It's almost like one's happening in Palestine right now. How, wait, how wait, in line with Islamic values is Turkey in your mind? How in line with the Islam are they? On a scale um, of one to ten. Wait, so why do you like Turkey Islamic over secular. Israel? They're uh, Islamic, they're secular Muslims, right? Wait, hold on. Why do you choose Turkey over Israel? Uh, Turkey is 
more ethnically, to my understanding, Muslim than religiously Muslim. First of all, in regards, so you to, just hate in white regards, you. in regards to choosing Turkey over Israel, it is because there it goes Turkey great. is first of all not currently conducting an ethnic cleansing campaign. Uh, secondly, oh, uh, it is not trying its damnedest to. Well, that's that was going to be related. Um, it's how do I say it? The government in Turkey, even if I have a lot of issues with it, uh, is m more to the left, in other words, more in line with my values than the, than Israel like is. Like what? If you want me to choose a country, like what? I would this align my values. Like what law? Oh, hey, gang, gang, you I was gotta going to let answer him finish, please. The previous question, uh, historically, it would be Chile in the 1970s, in the early 1970s. Um, contemporarily, it would probably be like Finland, sure. Uh, they're a robust social democracy with a lot of social safety nets. It's, their it's people are very happy. They have high living standards, uh, and they have very little homelessness and related issues. You know that they're a very gender based society now. To my they're very they're very sex rolled. To my understanding, the economic differences between these sexes in such Nordic countries is actually less than that in the United States of America. There is a smaller wage gap. It's not about it's not about wage gap. It's about their their roles in their society are very sexy. I mean if you think that like the leader of a country being a woman You just you just strike me as uh, as like a gender non binary person. You like you strike me as the person who's like very pro uh like non binary and the melding well, of sexes. Yeah, I, I consider myself an ally of the LGBT plus community. On that note, <laughs> on that note, on that note, I want to welcome um uh helper Grace. Grace, thanks for uh kind of coming this uh um last minute kind of on the spot. Um so you said you you wanted to defend some of uh Sour Lemon's positions. Um I want to give you that opportunity. Go ahead, introduce yourself and what precisely are you here to defend when it comes to Sour Lemon? Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, back my Giga Chad King. Um, mostly, I have an issue. I just was noticing this. I have an issue with Lavs. I don't know if it's white supremacy or Western supremacy, but this concept that like Muslims need Americans or the West to come in or Middle Eastern people in general to like get them straight. What fucking right do you have to say that to those people? Do you think America's doing great when like tons yeah. of girls are on OnlyFans? sexual dysfunction. Well, no, I don't want them to be on OnlyFans either. People are addicted to porn. You think you're just gonna tell, like, Muslim people, like, they have their issues, they have their issues, but, like, you're just gonna say, like, oh, yeah, we need to be in their countries running them. Like, fuck you. Let I think, them be. They I have think the that family we should probably liberate those people, yeah. The, I think that we, the thing, we need to liberate well, them. The thing that, is, to... that is an assumption. You are assuming that yeah. Muslim women want to be liberated and become an OnlyFans girl like you were. I don't think so. I don't no, think most of them you know that the, the you thing, know that that's not true. You know that I'm I, against the, OnlyFans. The and I so want... you're just saying this for attention. Which is I what you do. I, I, you're, no, no, you're against OnlyFans. I understand that. But you are a product of American culture, and you did OnlyFans, and you said it was terrible for you. So why would you... So why would the, I want the, the these thing, Arab women on, to do OnlyFans? Hold on, hold on. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Let's the thing call I want, in. Okay. The thing I want to reiterate here right, let me, you gotta, is that you gotta everything up, that Lav is saying is consistent with, like, um... Uh, Arab countries in the Middle East and Muslim society is a consequence, is a direct consequence of continuous American militant involvement in the region. As we have involved ourselves in the region over the course of the past about? century, we are have you... deliberately emboldened <sighs> these groups of people, and when we have attacked uh, the these countries, it has emboldened them even further. We funded 
their uh, fundamentalist groups to fight communism. And then when right, we, we did, decided you know that so we funny wanted is we funded, funded, wow, wow, that we killed their people. Wow, they funded think, wow, Hamas. We, think that wow, we gave bad them bad. so much wow. money to make wow. rockets. It's, it's Why February. did we do that? Rashad has preference yeah. here, okay? It's February. Yeah. Rashad has preference. Yeah. Has preference. It's hard's white, but don't mind that. Anyways, um, you're kind of blaming the United States for radical Muslims being insane. Our interventionism before 9-11 was extremely light. In fact, we stopped Kuwait, if I recall correctly, from being conquered by Iraq. And if I recall correctly, Osama bin Laden was tight about that. He was pretty upset. He was also upset about the fact that Saudi Arabia themselves asked us to station our own troops in their nation. So here we have a, a lunatic who was born into a wealthy family who didn't need to be a terrorist, but for some reason walked down that path, Lord knows. And... In his insane, irrational mind, the minimum amount, the most least violent intervention we had in the Middle East up to that point was enough in his mind to fly planes into fucking buildings. And we're rationalizing that level of insanity to explain away how this all came about. Now, we'll give you a rock. I will give you a rock. But when we start talking about foreign policy in the Middle East and we start trying to rationalize Islamic terrorism for why we should cease our involvement in Israel. You still haven't explained to me what the fuck does the United States gain in any way, shape, or form from strategically abandoning Israel? What do we gain? I don't want to hear about genocide because that's really not what's happening right now. I want to hear about what we strategically gain from handing over Israel and that entire conflict to any other power in the world like Russia or China. What we gain will not be much. It is clout. I suppose you could say, if anything, it is so, that we made a the morally correct decision. However, yes, exactly. That's exactly. You're, uh, so, so you're I, uh, let I, me get this straight. So you want us to prioritize PR over actual geopolitical gains? Yes. Let me get this straight. Oh my I do god! A typical, typical I, fucking Marxist fucking online, just useless. Yeah. I, virtue I don't, signaling. No, I I'll, don't I'll tell think you. That I, I think good. I think God, your testosterone and sperm count is so low, so that you can't reproduce. <laughs> I think my hairline has I'll tell you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll gain. We'll gain peace with 1.6 billion people, and we can stop having oh, this no, this settler colonial mentality that people deserve, that might makes right, and that power should be used to kick people out of their houses. We made a mistake when we colonized America. We treated the Indians terribly and we don't oh want to keep condoning God. that behavior. Oh God, we are where we are now. We should, we we should, so should we undo America? That's what I want to ask you. Should we, we, should we undo give, the United we States? Give, we, we should give accept it its past we, and forward. In fact, so I'm, I'm the only, I'm the only, I'm the only, I'm the only we, we indigenous person here. We certainly shouldn't fund more of it. We should. We shouldn't. We shouldn't fund oh, more so of it. Oh, so we just we just leave Israel. We leave Israel. And, we leave Israel to fall into the hands of Russia and China, and then what? If if you think that Israel the is not a powerful nation, the IDF is a weak army. The IDF is a weak army. It's mostly made up Israel of Israel is economically advantageous to be buddies with. You actually think that Russia, no, China, and any other surrounding power the, would just sit there and not be buddies with? Them? Here's the thing that you okay, this okay, is the difference Rashad, in Rashad, perspective. Wait, 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 let me you, make this quick point. Your argument, your argument would justify doing slavery again, slavery again, because you're saying, well, oh we did in the past, God. so why not keep doing it? That that's what your argument would justify. Because that was an economical thing that we did. That was we've all agreed is morally wrong. Okay. You know what? Do you know why? So we, had more gain. You we had more to gain. We had okay, more to gain. Wait, we had on. more to gain economically from not having slaves. We had more to gain economically from not having slaves. Me, we had more please. to gain socially from not having please, slaves. Please, I'm vibrating. We had everything to gain. Wait, please, we had please, everything please. to gain. Okay, okay, we had everything to gain from ending slavery. So it's Aaron, only, it's hold all on. about economics. Grace, about Grace, the moral shh, right. shh, 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 human babe. dignity. It's not babe, about that. that. So, there hold on. A... So, hold, hold on. Arabs had millions of slaves for hundreds of years. Part of why, so we are not the first, we are not the first country to do slavery, but we are the first country to say we should not do slavery because of Christian secular values. That is a uniquely not Western value. Not, not Christian Japan secular values. In the Christian, 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 no, Christian values. secular values. Secular values not just Christian only. Values. Christianity, Christianity teaches you how to treat your slaves anyway. So the, the worst the is the is... reason that slavery stopped, not the reason it started. So I don't know what the fuck your argument is. Christianity is the reason that slavery... No, I'm, I'm not... I'm saying there's a, the argument for slavery to end was a moral argument. 
just like the argument to, for the Israelis. To push to our views on half of the country that didn't agree. To push our views on the Confederacy that didn't believe in the Christian secular values. To make our country stronger and more equal for all of us, Grace. Why wouldn't we want to do that? Why wouldn't we want to create a union as America, as the West, to push our values onto most of the world so that we could liberate as many people as possible, Grace? Why would we? It's Christian. Bobby Christian. Does not 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 liberate Palestine. You are saying you want to liberate the Middle East by destroying it. This is fucking ridiculous. Stop being the genocidal freak. Fairy Queen. Mute these. I'm going to keep saying this so you guys shut the fuck up. Five dollars for Fairy Queen to say. Has the West's perception of Islam changed over the past 10 years? If so, why? Also, would someone please define Christian secularism? Thank you for the money. Go back to your shit show. Go ahead. What the fuck are y'all even talking about right now? Christian secularism is an oxymoron. It doesn't... I, I understand you're saying no. secularism that's based on Christian <gasps> values, but you can really only have one or the other. No. Secularism is how we got you here. Think that, you think that... Wait, you think that that's true because there's a push for progressivism for the sake of progressivism, which that's a... That's something retarded that's, that's like infecting true. our community what right now. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, about progression? I advocate for progression whoa, 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 so that whoa, whoa, people have better living whoa, conditions. We're on Twitch. No! no, no, no. I'm on this panel. I'm on this no. panel, too. Stop. Lav, no. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. No. Sorry. Bad. <laughs> Ten points from Gryffindor. Okay. No. no. I got. Probably I got to restart. Hold on. I got to restart the stream. Hold on. It's probably a good thing I was oh, too busy dude. shouting to actually hear that because I think yeah, that just, like if this... you actually yeah, did I'm, say I'm the end word, that just goes to anyway. show where your are you mouth is. No. This little girl really crashed out. It's sort of like the N word for gay people. Oh, so we're live out. again. Okay, we're live That's, again. It's still bad. Don't obviously. do that. She just crashed the fuck out on live. <sighs> so here's okay. the here's sorry, the, gang. No, I'm not the, like we laugh about it, but no. Seriously. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at code switching. Cool. It will not happen so, again. So here's Thank the you. difference in perspective between Rashad and I. I say that uh, the perpetuation of the global American empire does not supersede the uplifting and the of the global people of the lifting out of poverty of their right to live of their rights to self-determination i think that all people have these values and that america and in its perpetuation of its empire that it created since i guess particularly the civil war um, has greatly reduced uh, the actual uh, ability for countries to to function this way, and I don't Everyone think, and I don't think, though. and I don't think the strategic value of having military bases in the Middle East supersedes the Middle East, like uh, being able to live. The, wait, the goals and intentions of the American... Like, you do acknowledge that geopolitics is where everyone's playing for keeps. You do realize that if we stop playing the game dirty, someone else would just take our spot, right? Do you want to live in a world where someone else China's is playing dirty and we're underneath taking them? taking our spot because that, wait, they're wait, playing wait, less wait. dirty than us. What are you, that what, is you a do? might makes right argument. Rashad, have we have we or have we... China's not putting China. Muslims in concentration camps. You think we should do that? Have we or have we not decided that people should make their own political decisions, self-determination, that countries should have their own self-determination of their political decisions? I'm not arguing what Lab is arguing. And it should not... I'm but not you're arguing the American Empire. The American Empire should you not are, exist. We should not, not be yet. controlling. Not, 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 all of our, will be. not all of our interests stem you're from so just conquest. Cynical. Not all of our interests stem from our, just conquest. I mean, they stem from Israel. economic conquest now. Look at what's happening and look at what look at the fuckery we gotta deal with now. We got Iran backed militias killing American troops, who these jumping on ships, doing all kind of fuck shit. They just killed a bunch of gay people a few minutes ago. What? Like, bro, look at all this chaos. Well, happening? how could you argue that the United States is wrong for trying to curtail what the what Hamas, this Why bullshit, all this chaos they started? What are you talking about? This is a complete. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. How this happened in the first place? What? 
You, exactly. you do realize the Palestinians are not 100% victims in this historical scenario. I can point literally three different wars where they and the surrounding Arab states all tried to destroy Israel over and over and over again. They are not After the victims Israel in this story. Listen, 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 the, the British decided, okay, let's just choose this plot of land that people no, have been No, that's not true. That's not true. The Jews were their first, out. idiot. Oh, the, the Jews, Jews were there 2,000 years ago, so they can there. just take it back Jews. from the people who they're currently right. living yeah. in. They have as much, they have as much right to it as anyone done. else. Jews as have been there else. for decades. What How was done was done. The Arab solution was to expel the Jews. That was not an option. The Arabs wanted to expel them. That's not an option. We cannot just let them expel the Jews. And they're partly all, because of their progressive values. They, partly because sides, of their progressive should, values. Should, hold should, on, should. hold on, hold on. Both sides were there. There was a state, there was a two-state solution. The Palestinians and surrounding Arab states, understandably, to be, to be honest, rejected it and said, fuck this shit. We're going to get these Jews the fuck up out of here. It didn't work. They tried two more times. It didn't work. How many more times are we going to play this game? You do realize we're risking a lot economically and globally playing this long ass game that the Palestinians and surrounding Arab states have been we're continuously losing over, over and over and over again. At some it, point, we do want to prioritize a Palestinian state. I'm not disagreeing with that. But Hamas... And Hezbollah and all this fuck shit, it's gotta go. We gotta, at some point, we gotta get, it the, get the fuck up out of here. Do you, why do you feel like you have the right to say that when the Palestinians voted for Hamas? The world that's is their, affected by their that's, bullshit, that's why. You see what the Houthis are doing? It's affecting everyone else. If why, it was just, just, why couldn't, okay, but, but you're, you're picking one point in history and then going from there. Oh why couldn't the Jews have been respectful of the Arabs and slowly integrated? Why did they have to do the Nakba they and kick them out? Do that. No, 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 Grace, you don't realize that they no. tried to do that. They did try, they've been trying I, to do that. For Don't years and years and years, for hundreds of years, and every single time they do that, the Arabs declare war and literal genocide on the- What do you think, if Israel pulled out right now, if there they was just a one-sided piece- Hold genocide. on. Yes, they do. If there was a just no. complete ceasefire, one-sided- They say there was a shut the fuck up. On, not if genocide. It, what do you- First of all, Hamas's charter literally says to kill every single Jew. In uh, like, you're just retarded. Changed. You're just That's retired. Not that. true. It doesn't they had a PR update. Yeah, they had an IOS. They had a little IOS update. What do you, you so, what do you, yeah, so what do you think happens if Israel? If Israel? Okay. What do you think happens if Israel has a one-sided ceasefire and they stop? What do you think happens? I think the Palestinians will say, we want a one-state solution, we want equal rights, we want the right to return, and the Israelis are going to have a lot of problems dealing with that, but that's the right thing to do. That's wait, what do you, you, wait, what do you, what do you mean equal rights? Might make no, hold on, hold on. You just said equal rights. It's their own state. What do you, what do you mean equal rights it's in their the own Israelis state? Israelis wrongfully took that land from the Palestinians, and then they made it them second It wasn't theirs. They were occupying... They were occupying a land. It was not Palestine. Palestine yeah, only happened after Palestine the U.S. The empowered them to make it any sort of real statehood. The only group it was that not was before. In this let's, let's pass it to Sarah Levin. Let's get to Sarah Levin. Sarah Levin, go ahead. I like this entire conversation is uh, like I agree with Grace, sure, but the entire conversation is pretty reductive because it's not taking into consideration the current circumstances of that conflict, which is a completely one-sided destruction of a group of people. Like, you it's not- it's Israel, it's hold, not on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Contest. Sour, okay, Sour Lemon. Israel has one of the most monetarily backed militaries in the world if not the most right now at this point in time do you think if israel wanted to get rid of palestinians it would be hard do you think yeah yes. because they're trying to do that right now no, it's not working it would not be hard no, they're no, losing they're what they're do you losing. mean they're trying to do they're that losing. right now yeah they're on, killing on, people on, wanna, they're, yeah, like there's this there's this thing that happens where if you're going to conduct a genocide, what you have to do is convince everybody that you're not doing a genocide so that they continue supporting you militarily. That's what Israel has been doing. They've been trying to kill all the Palestinians in such a manner yeah, that they can retarded. maintain the hold military just support hold on, from other hold countries. On. A thousand and bits, I, a thousand and, bits from Smith. And you, a thousand bits from Smith. I am a gamer. This is who I am. I don't play games. I game. I just game. If you don't like it, F off. Thank you for the thousand bits. And, 
And you can tell that this is the case through the way that Israel is doing its military operations. Sure, if they wanted to get rid of Palestine, they could toss a nuke onto it, basically, and just des destroy the entire thing and its entire population. They could just but do that, more missiles. But, no, you, they're, they're firing more missiles than, like, America ever has in any of its they wars. Could, they could drop missiles on the entirety of the West That's Bank in Gaza. Well, they're doing it on Gaza. That's not what they're doing. They're settling the West Bank. They are they are doing that in Gaza. Like they, You do acknowledge... You acknowledge that the geopolitical and, like, economic fallout of October 7th is one of the main reasons why no one's, like, really looking forward to a ceasefire in terms of, like, the geriatric goons up top. You know, Biden and his own You realize, I also, I also, hold on, because I'm not done with what I was, what what I was trying to say. So we got to talk about the, you, you talked about the recent issues we got right now. Let's talk about the economic and geopolitical fallout of October 7th. You do realize that this shit is becoming extremely hectic, and we just lost, what, like, three to four troops in Iraq? from Iran-backed troops blowing them up. Yeah. You do acknowledge that, like, Why do you think Hamas... Do they're they're, they're white people. It doesn't matter. Again, you, you're they're white people. They're black, matter. actually. Um, you do realize that Hamas doing what they did and the fallout of that, it has consequences for the rest of the world. Why should the not, rest not of the world... Not only the fallout. Not only the fallout. So they are still... Netanyahu has said, release the hostages. We will stop firing. What does Hamas do? Uh, you do realize that Israel has not cared about its hostages in its military operations at all, right? Like it's it has killed its own hostages. Uh, it's got the it's been in on purpose. In, in, yeah. So why do you think I they're mean, asking for the hostages back? They're just they're just they, playing right. games. Yes, the hostages ever, is a PR move. Um, have you ever, because they Hannibal, need to do the have Hannibal, you heard Hannibal doctrine. doctrine. Yeah, Hannibal doctrine. The Hannibal doctrine. Have Can you, you heard elaborate? Of that? Hold on, I want to give no, Grace a chance to, to elaborate on that. Grace, elaborate explain on that this. To me. I believe they recently modified it, but up until very, very recently, which is what, and this happened on October 7th, the IDF had a, something called the Hannibal Doctrine, which means if it looks like the opposing force is going to take hostages, what you do is just mow down everyone to prevent them taking hostages. That was the, that was the doctrine that they followed. Hold up, and that's what they Grace. did on October 7th. Grace, at, wait, one second, one second. That happened? That the people killed on girl, October, is this what you're saying on my panel right now? That on October 7th, a good deal of the people who were killed were killed by the IDF? Yeah, there absolutely. Was, there was actually they, they came a not in with attack helicopters. Yeah, there was, an, there was a not look, insignificant look, look. portion of the Israelis that were killed by the IDF on that day. Yes, because this is what happened, right? You can ask yourself, okay, these, these uh, Hamas people, they came in on paragliders, I think, and, and motorcycles, right? So the festival, at that big festival that they had where all these deaths occurred and, and the hostages were taken... There were blown up cars. There were melted cars with people inside them. How would the Hamas be able to do that? They didn't have rocket. They didn't have things okay. that could make they, that happen. Not, the IDF came have in with attack is, helicopters gonna, and I'm, mowed uh, down uh, indiscriminately. Uh, and you can hear actual any, testimony you, from tell, the IDF saying that. I'm going to have to fact check we, you we, right now. This is all just propaganda. It is not true. We know no, well, this killed the majority true. of the people on October 7th, and it was Hamas and its operatives. That's, that is what happened. No, that's not true. Right? There's IDF, yeah, there's IDF, there's IDF, there's IDF testimony that says this. There's, that you were there's, there's IDF testimony. There's video. Wrong. Hamas has video, not testimony. They have video of themselves yeah, shooting into black in so girls. Hold on. Let, the Hannibal let, directive. Let, the Hannibal directive was canceled in 2016, so it's been inoperable for at least the better half of a decade. The the and fucking they did the, on the, porta, the porta potties. There's that no the, evidence. The Israeli, the porta potties were being shot up on camera by Hamas. We've also Actually, seen Hamas shoot at Israeli armor with fucking rockets. We know they're you, capable of blowing shit up. They blow themselves up. What are we talking about? But, but if you look, if you look at those porta potties, for example, those porta pot the, for the footage, they were actually shooting underneath the porta potties to get people out so that they could take hostages. So they're the blood coming from the porta potties is just ketchup. Well, I haven't seen the footage of blood coming. Well, I've seen the blood coming from the porta potties. It could be ketchup. It could be tomato sauce. Stop, I'm just saying. Stop, but they stop, were not stop, aiming at stop. the front of the you doors. They were aiming at the bottom. You were saying all this shit, and you haven't seen the footage? Well, I haven't seen footage of the blood. I've, I've seen a lot of oh, footage, God. but okay. I haven't seen that. Someone, Wait, someone. but there's a more there's a more basic <laughs> there's a more basic thing behind this. You have to say, was Hamas justified in October seventh? They were. They were rebelling against and so Israel the is justified occupation. also. And so Israel no, is justified actually, also. If you take a look at international law, Israel's not even remotely justified. With the litany of uh, war crimes. Wait, crime are you saying that international you, laws? Wait, are you saying yeah. that Hamas is, there, is justified it's, under international law to do a terrorist it, attack? It's, it's, it certainly says Israel is not justified. Uh, Wait, hold in, on. In do you think capacity? Hamas is? 
Uh, I do not think what Hamas did was right, but if you take a look, so at why the do you, so why do you, you use international a, if law? You, if why take, rules for Israel and not for and not for Palestine? Uh, because Palestine is it because they're browner? Basically isn't even their own. State. Is it because you? Like, is it because you hate like, whitey? No, understand the circumstances in which Hamas uh, conducted that attack, which is. Like fifty percent of the population is impoverished in Palestine. It's like fifty percent because of who? Or something like because that. we because send them millions Israel. of dollars because every Israel. single Israel oh, sanctions you them, blockades them, walls we them send up. Them? Sour Lebanon, we send them millions of dollars a year, every single fucking year, for them and to Israel... use into rockets to starve their people, kill more of their That's... people, and create a senseless forever war because no. they're fucking retarded. No. You have yes. Israel, 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 like, your like homeboys, actively your homeboys prevents a lot of the aid going into, into Palestine, at least currently. Or themselves taking pipes and turning them into rockets. They self-snitched. I'm not going to lie. There's video of that. Wait, Hamas seems to have a really big problem. Which also proves that this, uh, that that this is bad. Can, we, is one okay, side. Can, can, I, can I ask you guys two basic questions? Okay. Do you believe that it is wrong to occupy a population, meaning control them Depends by Depends upon why you're Rule occupying them. Not always. Why? I'm why? glad we occupied Japan. I'm glad we occupied the Nazis. I do it again. I yep. do it every single time. Occupation in and of itself is not bad. It it just isn't. When you have a population that is trying to kill you, right? You yeah, don't. Yeah, Israel's trying to kill Palestinians. <laughs> That's what was happening. <laughs> How do they're you think, trying to how, kill Israel because they are ethnically cleansing them. They're yeah, oh, so they're, try, so they're, they're trying. So they're trying. They're doing. They're they're killing ethnical cleansers by ethnical cleansing. No, so, hey. it's not. No. it's not ethnic cleansing. Is it not? Why not? Can, um, can an occupied can an occupied people who do you are think being is an ethnicity occupied resist violently? Can they do resist you think, violently? Do, both of you, do you think Palestinian is an ethnicity? Hold on. No, it's a nationality. No, they can't resist violently by killing women and children. Civilians. They can't kill civilians. I don't care how yeah. oppressed you are. What Israel's you doing. Kids. And has been doing. Israel, Israel was doing that for decades. Dead children. Israel, Israel, Israel would assassinate seven. journalists. Yeah. They would mow people down for no reason while seven. there's peacefully I'm protesting. Seven. Does not target children. Hamas does. Israel That's does target children. Hamas it does target children. Target you have to be insane to think that it don't target no, children. Hamas no, 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 should no, no, no. children. Hold on, hold on, hold on. October 7th. What military targets it did was to get to the ooey gooey center of the civilians in Jerusalem. In, in, in Israel. Why That's did the only reason they did it. UN that was their plan. Why did Israel bomb the UN school? school? Why did Israel, Israel bomb the UN school? It's, 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 it's bad air. air. It's bad when rich white people do the same things that brown people do. It is bad when rich white people do the things that brown people do. There is a video of Hamas and the IDF shooting at each other inside of a school. How the fuck did that happen? Is Why are they having shootouts in a school? The school? The Why is Hamas though, shooting the rockets question. and exchanging gunfire from schools? Explain that. Because they have nowhere else to go! Yes, they do! Oh yes, they do. They have more than enough room to make military bases. They choose not to. Why do you think they do that? Explain that one to me. I can answer that question. I can answer that question. Because they're living it. on a 25 mile by 5 mile plot of land and if they make their military bases open guess what it's a tiny amount of land and israel will just bomb them you don't have you exactly don't have to make the dumbest exactly that's a that's a that's a very your own people well, so what you do instead to defend your own people is set up shop underneath hospitals and schools that'll do just the job right <laughs> yeah. let me ask you a and question let me ask you a question was the nat was the nat turner rebellion wrong killing women and children in an attempt to rebel is 100 wrong of course I 100% support slaves rebelling against their masters, but the idea of killing an entire family of innocent people is wrong. Hamas on October 7th made an exact attempt and succeeded in killing mostly civilians. If they wanted smoke with it's just the IDF, true. I would salute that. That's Also, you want to hear, hear something really funny? Oh, you want to hear something really funny? Hold on, hold on. There is a video of a woman damn near naked with her leg broken up. Explain what? fuck are they doing with that explain that there is a video of a bunch of dead civilians just lying their corpses at a fucking rave explain to me the the, the, the strategic importance of just wiping People out who a weren't even israeli I can, I can explain both of, i can explain both of those things explain Number one, okay. the woman the woman was injured in taking her hostage why didn't they kill her because they want her as hostage to give her back to israel for political power Secondly, 
the reason that there are tons of dead bodies at that rave is because the IDF came in with attack helicopters and oh mowed them yeah, down. Yeah, this is fucking crazy. That's just not true. Oh, I'm not saying the, ma so the majority of those deaths this were from bad. Hamas, but that so, was part of it. The IDF did do that, and there's IDF testimony saying what do you think we were in the helicopter. Hamas, and we had no way to tell the difference. Hamas had a really nice vlog of all the crazy shit that they did. <laughs> Why is it that they weren't able to record the IDF? If I was a Hamas member and I saw an IDF helicopter killing civilians, boy, that would be the whoa, bro. I would be so turned up. Why is it the Hamas records themselves engaging in the most despicable acts, but somehow can't catch the IDF doing fuckery on camera? Explain that one to me. Are you denying we that attack recording. helicopters we came have to recording the of the people? We have footage. I have. We have. We also have a, a phone call. It's been documented the by the IDF. Who called? Who called into their family in Gaza? The Hamas fighters who went into Gaza on October seventh. They during this attack, they called in one of. the... A very young man who was involved in this attack, one of the terrorists, called his father, who was in Gaza, and bragged about how he killed 10 Jews with his own hands. He was happy with it. They celebrated it. It was a celebratory event, right? They were using... They called them on the phone of the, of the Jewish person that they had just killed, right? This is a terrorist attack this was a horrific to thing. be fair this is wait, also wait, propaganda wait, hold on to be fair to be fair this is also wait, propaganda wait. right we both have propaganda on either yes. of our sides what's happening yes. truly is that there are both nations of innocent people in fact uh netanyahu even before the terrorist attack had one of the worst approval ratings of any state held uh official in fucking history. People do not like Netanyahu. People do not like annexing of the West Bank. Israel is full of pacifists, mostly socialist, liberal people who want to who who want to uh, progress as a society, right? But they're also surrounded by a bunch of Arab countries that want them fucking dead, right? So Okay, okay, wait, 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 Lev, Lev. But you say that, that Israel is full of pacifists, but there was a recent poll done in Israel, and I believe 90% of Israelis said that uh, Israel was not using enough force against the Palestinians when 10,000 children have died. I do not think that is something you can largely categorize as a pacifist nation. In regards to the minimal... Well, when you're trying to, when you're trying to get rid to of a the, terrorist on, organization on, that threatens... Go, that's go, in in go, regards go. to the minimal amount of, like, uh, video evidence coming from the Palestinian side, that is in large part due to the fact that uh, Israel has cut off their supply of power and electricity. Oh my god. So it is much more difficult for them to say charge their phone batteries or their cameras and if when are we going to stop making excuses for palestinians me, being not, fucking dumb and using no, their money on, wrong hold on hold on hold on whoa, let me, whoa, let me whoa, hold stop. on is the me, one who cut off their supply to power that's ridiculous but, but when it, great but and when are we going to stop making when you look if at the palestinians hold on, in palestine, if the, hold on if the palestinians hold on if the palestinians have been there for longer than israel have why aren't they as developed why weren't they developed when they got there they, they, they they've been there for so long They've been there for so long. Hold on, hold on. Palestinians, have a rich culture. Where are we going with this? Hold on, hold on. 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 Lab, the how Clippers would you are really pro Israel. Two dollars from Audis to say, do not let Stardust on. We don't need a low IQ. First of all, I love Stardust. She's great. And uh, I'll let who I want on. And you guys can't stop me. Uh, Two dollars from Base Haas to say, call Gr Grace a blood libelist. Do it. She is kind of engaging in it right now. But fair enough. Go on. Oh when are we going to stop making excuses for the libel. Palestinian government Wait, using lab, misusing lab. their aid? When are we going to stop doing it? What you're doing? What you're doing? What you're doing? Lab, what you're doing? They can't help it. They can't help it. You're being racist. Oh, they can't help it. They can't help it. They can't help They can't help it. They can't help it. Kill people. They can't help it. They see a baby in front of them. They have to shoot the baby. They see a hospital. They have to throw a missile at the hospital. No, no, no. It's just an easy choice. There's people there. They have to kill people. That seems really suspective. No, somehow it's okay when the brown people do it, but when whitey does it, it's bad. When they engage in the same behaviors, why? This is not a racial perspective. It is because what the war really is is Christian secular values against Islamic values. You're insane. That is always the war. It's a that is always the war. That's why Muslims don't want Jews in fucking Middle East. That's why there's a fucking war happening. Grace, we can't hear you. Um, oh, there we go. There Lav, we go. how would you feel if somebody went into the Warsaw ghetto and said, "Hey, 
Why don't you guys have, you know, buildings and, and funding and shit? Where's your culture? What, why is this the such a mess? The Warsaw Ghetto. How would you feel if somebody did that? Wouldn't that we be are disgusting? Giving, we are giving Palestine. If the Warsaw Ghetto was getting millions of dollars in aid, yeah. I'd be like, why aren't you guys doing anything? Why are you guys using this for missiles? treated the same as people in that situation. They, this is not the same thing. This is not the same thing. Palestinians were removed similar. from their homeland and shoved into how essentially do you think, a ghetto. How do you think they got there? How do you think they ended up in that situation? How do you think the Palestinians ended I up being kicked off their land? Jews lived in harmony with Arabs on that land. No, for, they for didn't. What was, no, they what didn't. Was the exact yes, they event. Did. No, they oh didn't. God. What was the exact event that caused the Nakba? Please explain to me. What event happened that caused the Nakba? Militant Zionists coming in to steal people's Well, land. I believe there That's was... Cap the the That's Balfour Declaration and, and there was there was a there was a there was a there was an agreement that the Jews needed a place to live to call their own. They what had... was the specific event that caused the Nakba? What happened? What was the event that caused the Nakba to occur? These it was it's a very really really important event, really quick the event too. The dissolution of the Ottoman Empire. The war, the nineteen. Why are we? How is it taking they... us this long? The fucking war when the surrounding Arab states and the Palestinians in the region. Decided to destroy Israel and failed. Can we just acknowledge the? Yeah. Like, so Israel. So Israel wanted a trade route. Israel wanted a trade route in the oceans, right? And none of the Arab countries wanted Israel to become an actual self-determined state. So they didn't. They wanted to cut off their access to trade in those waterways. And yeah. Israel said no. Israel said no. Okay. They okay, went wait. into. Let me ask was it Iran? Were they? Were they blew up all the planes? Was it Iran? Or not, which not country was it? Egypt. Egypt. The and then and then everyone. Yeah, and then everyone said, okay, fuck Israel, we're going to take them out. And Israel, the tiny little state, they won. Oh, well, they the tiny, won. The tiny little why the does, underdogs why who were funded by the biggest military uh, in the world. <laughs> why does Israel deserve that's the right to be an because, because state? That's actually hilarious because you're, you're, you're a Marxist. I'm, I just, because what you just said is so funny to me. Because if you use that about black people in America, and you said, well, this little tiny population funded by a bunch of white people, which we do in America, isn't that positive in America? What the fuck are you talking isn't about? It... Clearly, you I don't know what I'm talking about. No, because your same so energy, stupid. Your same energy cannot be directed uh, across ideological plane. You hate Whitey, and you hate the West, even though you have no, benefited I, so I much hate, from living here. I hate imperialism. And you... And, uh, that's there, retarded. There have, there that's been, retarded. And there are have you willing been to give up the benefits of, of imperialism? Do you, are you comfortable with giving up the benefits of being the number one nation on the planet? Are you comfortable with uh, yeah. someone else taking our spot? Do you... Okay, yes. who are you comfortable with? Okay, pick. Out because of Russia, what? China, China, and... Oh, no, no, no. spot hasn't exactly made us the best country in the world. Believe. No, no, no. Out of Russia, China, and Iran, what's your best pick? I want you to pick your favorite nation state that you just want to run the world after America's gone. Pick one. None of the above. One nation state, one world. How does what? that make any sense? The West, has large, the West has largely gotten rid of imperialism. It's largely said it was a bad idea. Remember the British Empire? Remember? And they colonized all those countries, and then they said, actually, that was a mistake. Their empire fell. We've largely dissociated from imperialism. Why are we continuing to fund people who are doing this? Well, we as imperialism looks different now. Well, also instantly. because imperialism looks different now. So instead of just going to war like the Vikings and taking a country, we're doing something that is much more uh, like over time, right? So now if we have like a Western progressive stronghold in the Middle East, that's going to permeate, permeate throughout all of their culture, right? That's It's soft that colonialism. Means, that is exactly what the British said. That is exactly what the British said. We're helping these stupid, retarded, backwards people by slowly pushing our values on them. I think it's about retarded. Them dominating them for the time being and then they'll learn to appreciate it and it was a massive failure and everybody basically agreed that was immoral and a massive failure it was it was a massive failure it wasn't that goes to show i don't know failure. because we we did it to the natives and we live in the fucking greatest state in the fucking world so i don't know oh, what you're talking we, about again, we have, don't live we in have blood state in the world. on our hands and that doesn't Who the fuck? Everyone, every single every nation has nation. blood on their hands. Everyone's this is so that is, that is not an excuse. That is not an excuse. Yes, this is an excuse. This is how the world works. Slavery. We also, no, you're just okay. saying we also okay. stopped okay. slavery. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on a second. And then if, we stopped it. So why can't we do the same so, with Israel? Because so, it's not that because... simple. It was a controlled situation in, in, our, in our own hold country on. that we were able to solve. This is a geopolitical. So because. Hold on. Grace, I have a question directly for you. 
when you say stop Israel, how would you stop Israel? Say we withdraw all our aid, all our funding, everything, and they're still doing it. Do we go in? Do, how do you want to stop Israel precisely? Please. They wouldn't be able to keep doing it without American aid. I think, but... I think, I think <laughs> what America how. should do, I think what America and the West should do is should say, look, Israel is not unique. We did this centuries ago. They're just continuing our project of settler colonialism. They're not unique, but it's immoral to do this to these people. We are not funding it, but we're not saying we're better than them. We should stop this. There should be a one-state solution and equality for all. Oh, Israel does not deserve an ethno-state. Jews do not deserve an ethno-state. We have largely I, I'm with you. I'm with you. condemned you. that across the West. I got you. So we say that. We, we give that spiel. We withdraw all the funding. And then... Because we don't have Joe Biden and Netanyahu's here are uh, urging him to to like ease up and things like that. They go even harder. And then all the fears that you have about genocide come to pass in reality. We aren't there. We don't have any way to kind of uh, hold their leash. We have no leash. We've let them off the leash. We're not holding the leash. Do we stop them militarily? Do we go in and stop Israel directly with U.S. military forces? Yes or no? I do not think that America should be the police force of the world. No. no. Fair enough. So what do you th- what do but, you think will happen? We when... can do things like like the ICJ. They're having South Africa, who, who that was an apartheid state, similar to what Israel has created the in ICJ itself. That is not the same thing. That is not the same. It thing. is the same thing. It is, it is the, literally the it's very similar. There are it Palestinian Arabs. There are Arab Israelis. ICJ, right, if I may, just real quick, it is going through the ICJ right now. That's true. When uh, the Russian issue went through the ICJ, the ICJ, the ICJ told Russians to stop with Ukraine, to withdraw from Ukraine, to cease military operations immediately. They did not say that to Israel. They have not called for a ceasefire. They have not called for a cessation of military operations. The ICJ, the International Criminal Justice, but they uh, have Muslim, called have the interim. Not done that. The interim called for them to take preventative measures to prevent genocide, which means that they are saying there's a potential for ethnic cleansing or genocide here. They did make that interim ruling. They it's also said a suspension yet. of military operations, which is fucking retarded. They also said that. Oh, so you attack us on October 7th and kill over a thousand civilians. We're going to suspend military operations, give you time to regroup, yeah, regenerate, resupply, replan, 10, 000, and then run it all over maybe again. Tens of maybe at, maybe at this point, 10,000 dead children and 35,000 dead Palestinians. Maybe it's time for a ceasefire. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree. Which Israel keeps yeah. making. Oh, okay. So you disagree. So more more Palestinian innocents should die. More dead bodies. Wouldn't a ceasefire thing, sure. be better? You do Wouldn't a ceasefire right? be better? You, you, you do realize that this problem has to be solved. I'm not talking yeah. about genocide. This problem has to be solved. We are having a serious fallout here in which Iran is getting real testy, the Houthis are getting real bold, and organizations in Iraq and Jordan are wilding right now. Hamas's fuckery on October 7th has caused this big of a fucking fallout. Why are y'all emboldening and basically giving concessions to these motherfuckers? This is, this Why are you going soft on an okay. organization? You know what? That is exactly what this is. This is what this is what high estrogen does to a community. We tried to please them before. It doesn't work. Rashad, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Even if you say the Hamas is wrong for what they did on October 7th, even if you condemn it, right? Take, let's take a look at that military strategy that Israel is employing. First of all, they are whatever they are whatever you, whether you say it's indiscriminate or they're trying not to, they are killing thousands of civilians, which is only galvanizing the Palestinian people so to what? further back Hamas and Hamas makes them look terrible so in geopolitics. So when there's videos, well, I don't so think what so. I'm what? I, I think that there are no solutions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's been it's too long since I talked, and I really like this out of my own voice. Please. Okay, Thank Hamas you. Is stronger than ever there, is stronger no than such, ever. Okay, hold on, Grace. So there are no such thing as solutions, right? There are only trade-offs. Nietzsche always used to say, <laughs> my good friend Nietzsche always used to say that it is a very human idea to decide what is good and evil and then, you know, employ it on the rest of the world. In a situation like this, no matter what team you're on, no matter who you want for the Super Bowl, Palestine or Israel, there are no solutions, only trade-offs. So when you are getting rid, if we were to get rid of all of Hamas, there would still even then be a new group, right? In, if we get rid of Al-Qaeda, there's going to be an ISIS. If we get rid of uh, uh, Hamas, there's going to be a Hezbollah. If we get rid of Hezbollah, there's going to be something else. There's always going to be extremists rebellions against everything especially when it comes to uh religion and holy doctrine like the quran and muslim you know islam 
I don't think that that is reason enough to say that we cannot stop. I, I mean, t to some degree, we need to liberate Palestine from its oppressors that are misusing all of their aid. To, so we, we need to... to we need to liberate from the, them from their oppressors. Israel. Israel's their oppressor. Israel. Israel's been their oppressor Israel for Israel doesn't choose Israel how they spend the their money. Them, Israel it. does not prove how they spend their money. I mean, their it actually money. kind of Let's does because it prevents That's aid from going into Go Palestine uh, actively. It actively prevents aid from going into Palestine. So it does actually, in a way, uh, choose how the aid is spent in Palestine. The aid which has not been able to provide enough anesthesia to... to uh, treat all of the people like because they're their making rockets. No, because they're no, making rockets. No. How do you make an, a rocket out of anesthesia? How do you no, make a... no, no? They don't. They don't buy the anesthesia. They buy yes, pipes they to make fucking rockets. What, what are you, they're not buying anything. They're being sent this aid through international or, uh, organizations, oh, and the international organizations are sending them materials to use for like medical purposes. And maybe Lab, it it's it's, But how can you defend Israel's military strategy? It's similar to our military strategy. I forget what it was called, but it was like shock and awe, I think, after 9-11. Let me just be clear that I'm a I'm a, I'm a soft Zionist. I'm a soft Zionist. I believe in a two-state solution. I like I'm not I'm not pro Netanyahu. I think that Israel should have a total rebrand revamp in politics. I think Netanyahu's a warlord. I think he's been waiting for a moment like this to kill uh, as many people okay, as possible. Okay, so so you don't back Israel's military strategy because I'm saying even if you wanted Israel to succeed, no, it's very similar to what we did, which was we we went in with a ton of we, like really uh, an overruling sort of overreaction to 9-11, right? And all we did was alienate and sort of like radicalize the Muslim world. And it was an it was a total failure. But every, everything everything, that, everything like, we do, fold. everything we do, everything we do as Americans as the West radicalizes the Muslim world. If Israel allowing no, gay people to true. Israel allowing gay people to adopt children, we saw immediately an incitement of suicide bombings by Palestinians into Israel, uh suicide bombings from Iran into Israel. It was I mean every single time Israel God, tries to do anything awesome. progressive what how do you know i i have a feeling that you didn't realize this yeah. and i'm trying to be patient with you because i have a feeling that you don't know the things that i know i'm trying to explain I, them to you and yet you are holding so tightly onto your beliefs that doesn't make you smart it I, doesn't make you steadfast it makes you stupid yeah i i, I think that uh you you need to reevaluate uh certain circumstances a lot because the reason why Palestinians would conduct terrorist attacks against Israel prior to the most recent one is because Israel has been demonstrably awful to them in every possible way. Uh, they, they were considered hey, an apartheid. The reason state, why is the reason. Okay, so listen to this. Listen to this. And, and what the reason why? Okay, so let me. Uh, mowing, mowing down peaceful pro protesters, uh, killing peaceful protesters, torture, uh, unjust imprisonment and torture of Palestinian prisoners that happen frequently all the time. Interesting. Uh, so yeah. how do you say? So I acknowledge that the history. I acknowledge the history. But let's take that a step backwards. Uh, Israel is completely justified in doing everything that they've done because of how the surrounding Arab, uh, Arab countries have treated them. No. By, again, by a... bombing them, by threatening to kill them, uh, by Israel's killing random Jews, by, by promising by... to kill Jewish people, by taking them as hostages. <sighs> so by your, by your own, by your own ideology of justice and fairness, Israel is also justified in every crime they've ever committed. You just no. hate it because you think, because you equate Jewishness with whiteness and whiteness with I mean, richness, and you hate that. And it's everything that you no. are against because you're anti-establishment, because you shit on everything that has given you privilege in Real the world that you live in. 500 bits uh, to say because you are so bored guy, in your life. You are so well, let, bored wait, let, in wait, your wait, life. Wait, wait. Yeah, let, let me get my money. Oh, 500 so, bits. Anyone who thinks home. is a good guy has lead poisoning. Thanks for the bits, Meth. Really appreciate you. 
Um, to be clear, my stance is there are no good guys here. Israel is not the good guy. Neither are the Palestinians. But let's not make any moral equivalences. Hamas is infinitely worse than Israel has ever done. That's so, how, Unbelievable how, thing to say. How? This is, uh, literally how? Again, one targets children. The other doesn't. The other targets Hamas children. The other targets children. children. The other targets more children. <laughs> okay. You do realize First, that intent is a really like big Hamas part of why... Up. Intent's yeah. a really big thing. You do. Yeah, Israel right? intends to kill children. <laughs> you do real. Okay, hold on a second. In November of 2004, we had the Battle of Fallujah. Children died. Children died. We had to kill civilians by accident. It wasn't intentional. In fact, we actually we were so nice. We gave civilians months to leave. You know what? It, you know what it cost us? A hundred U.S. troops. They set up traps. They set up all sorts of. Why strategic were we there? this is not a what do you what do you what what why, why are you, were we are you gonna argue why that civilian there? deaths why the point is of strate of the strategy you do realize that civilians are going to die when you have radical terrorists hold up in a city and we're talking about a strip of land this isn't even a city when you have radical terrorists hold up in a city that are using civilian infrastructure as hold a strategic starting exactly. point you do it hold up you do realize civilians are going to die and when you have a city or actually a strip of land that cannot be properly evacuated like Fallujah, I, I think, a shit ton of civilians are going to die. I think strategy you're not understanding. Change. I think you're not understanding my point. Don't change. Maybe, just hold maybe, up. Don't, don't strategy don't change. Hold up. Strategy don't change. Strip of land and oppress them. How they maybe that's there. a good idea. How they get there? They get there. Maybe don't maybe attack the city. That strip of land. Don't attack the city. How did they get in that strip of land? How did they get there? I don't, I don't, I don't think, there. honestly, I don't, I don't think that there. intent matters. Mm -hmm. I don't think that intent matters. I think any civilian death is a tragedy. I think that any death is a tragedy in general. This is consequential from both sides. Both of their behaviors is, is inexcusable, really. Um, we are obviously all human, right? But there is a reason, and part of the reason why we are in this mess in the fucking first place is because of, is because of anti-Semitism, is because of Muslim hatred for God. Jewish people. Oh my hey, I'll God. sing after the debate, gang. I, I, I see that is such songs. a... I'll sing after it's the debate. It's just true. It's just That's true. No, it is, no, okay. it it's is just not. True. Jews are actually fairly racist towards Palestinians and Arabs a lot of the time. You're saying Israeli. that sour lemon... They can't, like, they can't be racist. Yeah, they I'm share 80% genetic makeup. What the fuck well, do you mean uh, racist? Is that just racist. a little bit of an oopsie for Grace there? Like, uh, uh, like uh, Jews are racist. Oh, wait, I mean Zionists. Oopsie. Oopsie. <gasps> But, uh, I mean, Israelis. I mean Israelis. Israelis. I, I I don't mean all Jews. I, largely there's, American Jews do not back this. Yeah, yeah, they there, there's they're very naive significant because they're naive. Of the American Jewish population. Oh, okay. So all American Israel. Jews are just naive. Yeah, they're just they're naive. They're very much yeah. more naive than their Israeli yeah, counterparts for naive. sure. I bet that if you took those American Jews and put them through what the Israelis go through, their opinion would change real fucking quick. That's facts. Would you? Would yeah, you I mean, if that? you have an education system that literally brings you up to hate. Oh, so the bombings and rockets and none of that—that that don't mean shit. It's just the education. Yeah, how do you think the, the Palestinians feel then, Muslims. who experience thousands times more rockets on a oh, continuous basis? Are you basis? arguing that violence of people perceive? Hold on, please, Muslims, please, 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 Muslims please, 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 Muslims generally like Jews. They have a very similar culture. What are you talking very, about? What they dislike is Zionism, which is a representation no. of settler colonialism that the no. West has largely said is a bad idea, is immoral. That's what they're against. Oh, you have to Muslims get to the basis. Muslims do Before not you get into fuck which with side Jews. Has done yes, they do. They are. If, oh, you, if, you, if you watch... Yes, they do. They're very Look similar. Look at the Arabs' response that's October. Really October 7th exposed what they thought about Jews. You had Muslims all over the world that had no relation to the, to the conflict going look, crazy, look, look, doing their little dance, you know what I'm saying, getting sturdy. All of that to an attack on October 7th. Yes, are you, would you contest that? Are, listen, when, there are, when people are oppressed, sometimes there are excesses. Hamas itself has said there were excesses It's real. Same thing with Israel. Okay. So same thing with Israel. Yes. This is this is my yes. thing. Israel and this is what keeps Israel coming up. This is what oppressed. keeps coming up. Very this is what Israel keeps is. coming This is what keeps coming up is that you want rules for Israel that you do not apply to the Palestinians. I, I want to know why. No, no you don't. Yeah, I yeah. am. No, you don't, because I asked you what about, I asked you what you thought about Hamas's charter, you wouldn't even go there. Five dollars from In Pursuit of Knowledge to say, great to see the issue of criticizing, uh, parentheses, Zionists bringing together the East celeb wannabe Grace and the soy boy Marxist. Thank you for the five dollars. I, I have never once said that Hamas's attack was just- What about their charter? Right what about their charter? Was good. 
Uh, but yeah, he's he's left. Left. Hold on. Can he answer? Can he answer? He can. What, what, he can. Do, what do you I think about Hamas's charter? The audience, I want to point out to the audience that Grace did say it was justified, just to be clear. But go ahead. Justified so if intent matters, because thing. you brought up intent earlier with genocide and killing civilians. So I want to know how you rationalize Hamas's charter. Other than the conversation about whether or not it says it wants to slaughter Jews, which my understanding is that it does not say that it wants to slaughter Jews. It does I actually explicitly. Yeah, if you go back like six years, five years ago, years ago in two thousand yeah, five years. <laughs> Holy fuck, that can't be real. Yes, I, that I, can't be real, Sour Lemon. Come on. I do not know what Hamas's charter specifically says. I understand, however, the dynamics at play between Israel and Palestine. And you think and the dynamics, and hold on, you think the dynamics is one big white rich and one small brown poor. That's no. what you understand the dynamics as, and because you are a Marxist and also a cultural Marxist, you believe that this uh, tiny thing... Nazi terminology, let's go. Nazi terminology. Yeah, uh, cultural Marxism is a derivative of cultural Bolshevism, which is what the Nazis used to denounce the, uh, okay. the communists and socialists uh, when they came to power. Uh, no, what I'm Wait, what I'm I accusing you of is being needlessly I, and on, egoically anti-West and anti-white. Hold on, hold on. This is more important than any of. Can this. I try to answer? You your guys, are you guys having trouble paying me money? Like, uh, I guess I'm getting reports that my YouTube. You guys are having trouble paying me money. Can someone try like a two dollars super chat? See if it goes through. See if it's just uh, that one guy. Um, can you let in Stardust? Scam Do you guys want me? I can. Oh, I have two people. We open this up. One on each let side. Them up. Can, it's can, about to be oh, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> about yeah. to be. Let's do it. Why not? Lav, can I Welcome try to answer your question? You said, why? Yeah, this sure. History will vindicate. You me. said, "Why do we apply some standards to Israel no, that we don't apply to Palestine?" Right? Yeah. That was your question. Why? Why yeah. is there a double standard? Yeah. Okay. There is a different standard. What we have to... Well, the what, the fundamental Apparently disagreement is... Me, so pay me. Carry on. Carry, carry, if there carry, is a carry. massive power differential between two people, you may disagree that they're being occupied, but let's just say they're being occupied. If an occupied party violently resists the occupation by a much stronger party, that can be justified. Just like if the slaves, right, in America, the whites... The, the, the white slave masters attacking them is not as justified as the slaves attacking them for freedom. Sure, they if, could be if, the if, same If Palestinians wanted to kill Netanyahu, if, if Palestinians wanted to kill Netanyahu or all of the government officials, do, do your thing. <laughs> but if they, now they are going just for fucking anyone. In fact, their charter says kill any Jew you fucking see from the river to the sea. So I don't know what the fuck you're- I do not support Doesn't slave owners exist. killing Doesn't every exist. white person- or slaves killing every single white person. I don't. And you don't Ooh, either. No, I, I don't- I don't either, but I'm saying re violent rebellion is different than violent oppression. That's different. You do have a different standard. What you have to determine is whether the no, rebellion is justified or whether you have a moral you're not code. being oppressed. Not if you have a moral code based God. on justice and equality. But it does make sense when you have a moral code based on whitey bad. Brown person, tiny brown person, good. That makes sense. Keep saying you this. Tiny, you keep though? saying this. You keep tiny? saying this. I, I do not see the Jews in Israel as whiteies and the Palestinians. They're, as you said, they're ethnically eighty percent similar. N you, you actually see no, the Arabs no, as I think... brown people. I don't. No, I don't see the Jews as white and the Arabs as brown. They are all people. Hell yeah. What do we, what do we strategically lab, gain lab, from I'll, prioritizing? Lab, I'll bet you a thousand dollars. You're you're spewing propaganda. I bet you a thousand dollars. Hamas's Am charter I? does not say kill every Jew you see from the river to the sea. I'll they bet had a little iOS right? update about five years ago. <laughs> it depends upon like how serious oh, you take oh, five years. Oh, like, oh okay, okay. So oh. so when the Hannibal so when the Hannibal directive was updated. What, like seven years ago? We take that seriously, but when Hamas updates theirs, we don't take that seriously. Okay, well, the you have to apply Hamas, it either way. The, the intent of Hamas has been un, like geopolitically unreasonable. They're an irrational actor on the global stage. Also, this is my problem. You're, you're this, this, is my the idea. This, this is, is, is my problem with this conversation is it's not based from a strategic standpoint. We started this whole thing talking about Joe Biden's handling of Israel-Palestine. We've gotten into the weeds a little bit too much. Explain to me what the fuck Joe Biden and his geriatric goons gain from playing this softball attempt with Hamas and all the fuck shit we've seen stem from this. This has been like one of the worst presidencies. Like Joe Biden been going through it. Why would we as the United States 
Those sovereign support. Hamas, when they've almost cost, they've, they're costing the world economic gain. They're causing the world stability. Why are we why are we so soft on this issue? Y'all understand civilians are going to die. It is a densely packed area that the, the militants are using civilians as fucking human shields. Why do y'all think thousands of human civilians are not going to die? If the attacking Trade party propaganda. actually cares about treating them as humans. Well, oh, so oh, so you oh believe that if Hamas choose if Hamas chooses to use human shields, Israel should not be allowed to attack. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to say Israel shouldn't be attacking. It feels That's like the no matter what the Wait, IDF Israel does, it what? feels like no matter what the IDF does, no matter what tactic they take, people like you are going to find problems with it, Sour Lemon. It, if they if they do airstrikes beforehand, which is generally the protocol of most military, um, you have problems with that, even though that is like a, a, a way of notifying, warning civilians. If they go in and they do like a special operation into a hospital in disguise, uh, people have problems with it, even though they were, you know, mm. calling for I, that for I a long time. I have problems with that one, too. Can I go next? That is like I go next after three this? or four war crimes simultaneously okay. that they did in that one. Oh, uh, yeah. And what about the war crimes Damn, on the other end? I don't understand uh, why Palestinians have a problem being moved for the third or fourth time. Guys, just move out of the way so we can bomb your 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 cities. Just move out of the way. Hey, we we warned you. We warned you we were going to destroy this tiny strip of land we've given to you. You dirty brown people. Yeah, why? You guys should just, you guys should just leave through this, you, you guys should just leave through this humanitarian corridor. Oh, wait, we're going to bomb the humanitarian corridor, too. Stop, if you don't stop, I will stop you. Let's give it to Mooncake for a minute. Pass the ball to Mooncake. Um... Yeah, sorry. So just to uh, preface this, um, I believe in a two-state solution. However, uh, I think the problem is, yeah, Hamas is a terrorist group. There's no questions about it. If you try to argue with that, that's insane. They are a terrorist group. However, that does not allow the IDF to indiscriminately bomb areas with women and children. I think the UN literally said almost 100,000 people in Palestine have died since the start. Yes, the October 7th attacks are deplorable, but it does Whoa. not equal to the amount of damage the IDF has done. And I think to even compare it is insane. Fuck around, they are find literally. Out. Fuck around, find out. That's Whoa. more. I look, I look at the next right. I'll send it to you. 100,000 is not true. I look at the one website. Great. That's where I got it from. Wick, I have no problem sending it to you. My other oh, issue yeah. is, yeah, we can say fuck around and find out, but these are kids. Kids are not running around with bombs. Like, go They're after Hamas. The real issue is Iran. It is not kids living in the Gaza or women living in the Gaza. It is Iran. The issue is with Iran. That is what the United States so should is. Should we bomb with. Iran then? So you, no, yeah, no, no. should we just escalate? They might have to. Look, look at what's happening right now. We're moving to world, a World War Three, anyways. So you why would we why would so. why would we attack Iran when we could just decapitate their proxies? Iran, why would we do that? Because Iran is just gonna fund another group, as you guys mentioned earlier. They're gonna keep they funding groups and keep funding groups. Okay, oh, okay, hold wait, on. Okay, wait, wait. With a successful if, if, decapitation if, 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 of Hamas and its surrounding allies, that significantly weakens Iran's ability to play the global true. game. That is many, that is true. Question, that is question. true. How many groups Yo, you're gonna, does you Iran think fund? You're gonna have to source me that hundred thousand. I will. How many groups does Iran fund? Anybody have a number here? Anyone know? Because 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 it is shit in the Yeah, there's yeah, there's, there's a lot of groups uh, that they're funding. They're not just funding Hamas. They are training people in other countries to do stuff like this. So yeah, cut off the head of Hamas. They're just gonna replace that person. That's what they oh, also. Do. So what do you suppose we do with Hamas then? Hey, I think the issue would you agree to a, would you agree, would you agree to a basic thing, which is if Hamas is a terrorist organization, terrorist yep. government, you will agree that it was elected by the Palestinians. But okay, it, it, governments can be terrorist. Then Israel is 100 times the uh, uh, like a similar. I do believe, um, yeah, I do believe that the government and not the people, the government, um, are committing war crimes. They have already, uh, what's it called? Um, Everyone uh, commits war, war crimes. Um, Everyone commits war crimes. I guess. I guess. Uh, but I want to be on the right side of history. That is a disgusting take to have. The right side of history. Yeah, oh, yeah, everybody uh, commits war yeah. crimes. Yeah. Why didn't you say I, that about the Holocaust? Why didn't you say that about the Holocaust? It, it's uh, not. It's not. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We committed war crimes. On, we committed war crimes to you. Let me, let me, let me defend the Jews. We did Allow it. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't have. We should have just let them kill the Jew. We should have okay. been Let me defend peace. the Jew here. Wait, wait. The, should the, we the just, we should have just, wait, hold on. We should have just let them kill the Jews, Grace? 
We should have made peace. We should not have committed. So we should have just let them. them. So we should have just let them kill the Jews. What, what she's trying to say no, is that we should not, not have committed war crimes in the process of liberating the Jews. Sometimes that's what you need to do. That, no. Do you think it's that? Do you not. think that? Uh, no. Germany the, was point, the whole point of saying it is. The whole point of saying there's Fuck a war you. crime is saying it is never justified in any situation in war. This For is, you to glibly what say, law is oh, this? what, what real problem, law is this? The, the problem, 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 you are willing to give up the whole game because of war crimes. You do realize no nation in the history of ever has ever been willing to do that. This is not giving up You acknowledge that no game. nation what? has ever given up the whole game because of war crimes. You know what Marines you and in World War II committed many war crimes. We didn't just let the whole thing go. This is and what I think we do. Deals. This is what I think we do. We didn't give out mad deals to the uh, belligerent states because our troops committed war crimes. We sucked the specific? plan and played the game. What, what do you well, mean specific? The, Israel, Israel should keep Israel killing? should keep killing whoever they have to kill to get the hostages back home, and then uh, they should just be on complete no, defense. So hold, hold, hold on, hold can on, hold on. Can we just on. actually be serious about like? Can we actually like just get into the nitty gritty? What do you mean about the game? Sorry, I, uh, the I'm game is in like in, like in World War II. The game was to end the two belli massively belligerent well three massively belligerent states: Nazi Germany, Japan, and Italy, Russia. They they kind of moved out the way, but. We committed many war crimes in in that war. Why didn't we just? But why? Why? So so by y'all's logic, we could just say, you know what? We've done a few mean things. How about we just give these guys a deal? All that genocide, all that rape, a uh, grape, all that destruction. Cool. Let's leave them you alone. know what? Let's just let's give them a deal. Let's give them a deal. Let's allow them to recoup, resupply. No. We're talking about irrational states like Nazi Germany no. and Japan, lunatics that well, have given all, time to recuperate. States. No, hold on. If given time to recuperate, would have been on that same bullshit they were on before. Do you Here's, acknowledge the fact that Hamas is an irrational actor my, geopolitically alongside? My, yes, yes. No, Hamas. Not absolutely. They're not, not irrational. Not absolutely. They're, not irrational. Uh, they're terrorists. <laughs> they're not <laughs> irrational. Here's the please, thing. Please. I am not saying that if somebody else. Uh, commits war crimes, then we should allow it. I'm saying if somebody else commits war crimes, we shouldn't also commit war crimes to stop them from committing war crimes. You understand okay. that war we, crimes we, are always going to did. happen. We had to. That's not an excuse. That's not true. That's not true. Most most willing to most, give up the whole game because of war crimes. That's the problem. Is you're willing to wrap up the whole. Law. You're insinuating most that war crimes, that, that success is contingent on war crimes. Yeah, success we win if we genocide people. We win if we kill them from the ground up. America, come on! Yeah, America! Back to America! America! Yeah, America! America's always good! Yeah! Yeah, America. Fuck off. America is this consistently is... bad. No, it's no, been consistently no. bad since World War II. Even you, you in know World you could always, you could always, you could always, always take a flight. Okay. You could always right. take a flight somewhere else if you like it better somewhere else. You okay. could always do that. Okay. Okay. I would okay. rather we're not gonna, speak we're gonna, a different we're language. Okay. 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 A little sablon in order here. Little You're speaking here. over the black man. I like the energy. I like the in passion. In February. But let's let's try to 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 kind of get a through line going here. Obviously, our original topic is now <laughs> gone by the wayside. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be talking about this. So I want to start with Stardust, right? And then I want to go to Grace, then Lav, then Rashad, then Mooncakes, then Sour Lemon. And you're going to tell me in your best argument why or why not. Right, Israel is justified in doing what it's doing, and we're gonna start with Stardust. I'm gonna unmute you all. Go. Yeah. Uh, so, in World War II, um, when we were fighting against the Nazis, we engaged in the bombing of Dresden, and the bombing of Dresden was so deadly and affected so many people that they did consider that a type of an unofficial kind of second kind of genocide. Right. Unfortunately, what were the options? But like, are we are were we going to let the Jews be in camps, let them be exterminated, let them be worked to death, and and um and then mass killed? Uh, you know, we we knew what we had to do, and we had to do it. And just because um the people in D Dresden were you know defenseless, 
um, you know, doesn't mean we weren't justified in doing what we did because we knew horrible war crimes were happening. So that that's all I have to say. And then who was it? Grace Lavershad. Go ahead. Uh oh, Grace, you're, we can't hear you. Am I working? Hello. Yeah. Oh, there you are. We can go hear ahead. you. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I think in or like I think that there's a cynicism in this panel that is saying like people cannot transcend violence. I think violence can be oh, transcended. God. I think most countries can obey international law. And to, to to the question of whether Israel is justified is based on whether Israel, as an ethno state, right for the Jews, is um, justified in moving into another person another group's territory are there any jews in power in any other arab country i'm wondering do you know matter. let me can i can i finish can i finish well because if that's an they they have a right it's, to self determination but jews can't have one country but like arabs race can race have over 30 race. it's just like sorry the countries aren't based off of the, the like the palestinian are, 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 are you the power so limit are you grace i know you guys both may have the same estrogen levels but you know what they're like okay Grace, Yo! no. There were Jews living in Palestine, and they lived equally, and they they had respect, and there were they shared a culture, and they they had equal rights. You're then right. there was a determination. There was a determination that the Jews needed a state for themselves, which no other country, basically in the at least in the Western world, and you're claiming Israel is a Western state, no other country says you can have a, a state where some people have more basic rights, more political rights based on their ethnicity or their religion. That's called an ethno state, and we largely don't believe in that, right? Okay, but there was this decision that the Israelis could come in, the Zionists, Zionists, not Jews, Zionists could come in and through violence and terror, move these people, basically Liebenschraum, it is essentially the same idea, move these people out so that the Jews can have some elbow room so that they can establish their own ethnostate. It is essentially a repeat of what the Nazis did. It is completely unjustified if the Jews slowly wanted to integrate into Palestine and be at peace and politically equal while sharing different cultures like America has with the Palestinians, that would be a justified thing. And if the Palestinians were just anti-Semitic, that wouldn't be okay. But their campaign of violence and terror against these people, just because they want their own elbow room for their ethnostate, which is what the Nazis said as well, is completely unjustified. Okay, wow. Um, so it's not an ethnostate because it's, it's a, it's, there are, they're ethnically uh, kind of um, they're ethnically very similar to any Arab in the surrounding country. Um, what it is basically is that uh, we decided that um, because everywhere that Jews go, they get genocided or killed um, or you know uh, expelled or whatever for however long that maybe they can have one state that has Jewish determination Let's in mind. Take them into America. Arabs, is, is this a Arab have, America? Arabs, Arabs have Arabs Arabs have well. That's well, I agree with you that I don't think that I don't think that Israel should have ever been established in the Middle East. I think that we should still give them Staten Island. <laughs> I think that we should we should just let them have Staten Island. Uh, I think putting Jews deliberately in a place where everyone around them hates them is very dangerous and was not a good choice for us to make, right? But that's their holy land, and technically they were there before whatever that's where they asked they're to be, holy to be clear. I just want to be clear. That's yes. where they asked to be. So regardless of the wisdom of it. That's sure. So I yeah, I don't I don't necessarily think that that's the greatest idea ever. But also now now there's the added thing that now there's um generations who were not involved in the Nakba at all who just grew up there and are innocent in the same way that the Palestinians are. There's never going to be uh ever a world in which Israel is disbanded and we or we move all the Israelis everywhere. Like I just don't know what you think. Whatever, but I, I wanted to speak on one last thing, is that there is no justification for either of these people to do anything that they're doing, and that's why there is justification for them to do whatever. Because there's, this is, it's senseless. It's, it's, a, it's a fight over land and over values, and it's, just, it's never going anywhere. We're just going to go around and around and around. Nothing's justified. Okay, so just no, nihilism. No it's civilian. Not, you're not argue at all. It's just nihilism. You're just well. It's, it's not. Moral, well, it's not nihilism. nihilism. Yes, it is. Yes, that's, it is. Not that's not nihilism. That's not nihilism. That's saying yes, that, it there's, is. 
No, it's not because I still believe that there's there's an out for this. Nihilism would be mm, fuck it. I don't even care. Like I I I think that, I obviously think that Jews have the right to Israel. I think that Israel has the right to exist just as Palestine does, right? But you don't think that Israel has the right to exist along with Palestine, which is very confusing to me. It's 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 rules for thee, not for me. It's very it's you have no ideological moral compass other than this sort of fickle new age like cultural Marxist, sorry, cultural Marxist, anti-establishment, anti-white, anti-West, uh, like hedge, like just kind of modge podge of, of values. It doesn't mean anything. And that's why ultimately like your, your ideology will just fail. Your ideology will fail and it will consistently fail. And there will just be less people rooting for the things that you're rooting for. It's just, it's doomed to fail, which I have hope no, for. You know what's doomed to fail? Israel will fail. 100%. No, it's in it a won't. Spiral. The wealthy Jews will leave and go to is go to Europe or America. They're not going to be want to be in this war torn territory. But even if that's true, even if that's true, and Uyghur, even if that is true, even if that is true, the West will win. Christian, Judaic, secular values will win ultimately. We look from it's just a hodgepodge uh, of random words. Christian, Judeo, secularism. They're they're opposed to each other. They have capitalism. some similarities. That's not, that's I mean. not true. Judeo Christian values are very very similar to each other. There's Jews no such thing as Judeo Christian able, values. Jews are able to. Thing. Yes, it is. Jews were able to assimilate into American culture and West culture uh, fairly, very, uh, fairly well. She it's, means we capitalism. Have, she we means have capitalism. Oh, you just did the actual thing out loud. You just did the Jewish capitalism thing out loud. That's no, crazy. I'm, no, I'm saying oh, when you say no, they're just these, money hungry. No, I'm saying all these values. No, they're just no, no, they're just money hungry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's nothing to do with Jews. I, how, He's just a he's just a Marxist, so he's capitalism is everything. Like that, I mean, yeah. everything that she's saying is not like inherently Christian or Jewish or what ha or whatever. It's if anything capitalist. Like all of these principles you, that she's espousing, you have the views that you have, and you are able to have them because of Christian secular values. You could not have your views if they were opposed to the government's views in a place like uh, in a place like Palestine. You just couldn't. Christians are oppressed in Palestine. $10, $10 from Fair Queen. Okay, to say, so someone can... define Christian secularism. Great. Thank Why you. is Christianity not re reconcilable with secularism? Lab, what is an example of a Christian secular value that clashes with, as you put it, Islamic value? So I, I Liberalism. Answered, answered those questions. So let's go Lab first. What is an example of a Christian secular value that clashes with uh, Islamic values? Give us one. Liberalism. The Liberalism. idea that you the idea that you can live in a different way than me and it's protected under law. Liberalism okay, and is Grace, why is Christianity capitalism. not reconcilable with secularism? What's the what's the disconnect there? That's it's just wrong. It's this, completely this you can I want to I wanna give yeah. it to Grace. Though. I want Grace to answer this. Grace, go ahead. I mean, it's kind of, it's like an oxymoron because I understand there's a certain culture developed by people who are secular, but basically base their morals and values on Christian morals, which I think is what Lav is referencing. But essentially, yes. it's, it's a religion, but secularism is non-religious. I mean, Christian moral values yeah. are based on the idea that there is an eternal God who loves us and that we will go to heaven and the, you know what I mean? So secularism is nihilistic atheism, okay. which does not, it, it's... It pretends like it says nothing matters and there's no God, but in reality, it bases all of its morals can, on Christian morals and would, values, but whatever. I would whatever. also like to make can, an addendum, which wait. is that the values that uh, Lav attributes to liberalism in particular are uh, are in common with the values of socialism and Marxism and leftist values. The ability to have free will and self-determination, democracy, and... Except private property, what right? Is this, what is this called? Not private property, bro. Not private property. Oh, God. God forbid what they have that. What is this? Look, I, I have no idea. What originally it was supposed to be was on liberalism, but <laughs> here we are. Um, I want to toss it to Rashad, because I did say Rashad was next, and then we're going to go. Uh, yeah, Rashad, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, the reason why I would argue that Israel is justified in what it's doing, to an extent... Is because if we don't get rid of Hamas, the Houthis, Hezbollah, all these organizations, we're going to allow this geopolitical conflict to spiral out of control. Thank you for the Raiders. Okay, sorry. Uh, frankly, I don't want World War Three. I don't know about y'all niggas, but I don't. Thank God. And frankly, Joe Biden is doing his best to curtail <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I, I get it. It's Black History Month, but let's. Oh shit! My here. bad. I'm tripping. Okay. Uh, I get it. We'll it's act Black like History that didn't happen. Pass now, but like, come on. I, I give I him the pass. pass. I have my pass yeah, right I do. here. I do. I do. Um, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
the problem is we look at World War Three. World War Three had the exact same problem. We have belligerent actors basically plunging the war into, you know, the worst conflict we'd ever seen. I don't want this situation to become that. And we're going to have to defeat Hamas and do that. And civilians II, are going to World War II. World my bad. II. Look at me. I'm, I'm tripping. Yeah, okay. My bad. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I understand yeah, that civilians are going to civilians are going to die. The problem with you guys is you're completely willing to throw the baby out with the bathwater because civilians are going to die. And that's my problem. You're not prioritizing the bigger picture. I don't think you want the economic and geopolitical consequences of allowing Hamas, the Houthis, and all these organizations to Absolutely. gain concessions and all the bullshit that y'all want for them. I don't think you want that. I think it sounds great mm -hmm. in the moment for the American hegemony to go asunder and for all these little organizations to have their little way and for all these other countries to make their way into the geopolitical scene to be the big players. I don't think you actually want that. I think Uncle Joe yes, Biden in his Joe Biden Joe Biden and I know he's falling up the stairs, down the stairs, on the stage, all of that. I understand, you know, things him. aren't looking too great in terms of his presidency, but in terms of foreign policy, Joe Biden has done an amazing job with both Ukraine. I'm riding with Biden all the way. But go yeah, on. in terms of foreign policy, he I don't know who's cooking back there, but he's doing an amazing <laughs> job. Kamala. Yeah, someone, someone back there is doing an amazing job with foreign policy, and I don't think y'all want the alternative. I think it sounds great in your moral worldview, but I don't think you really want a world where Israel's now being buddy-buddy with China and Russia because the United States has just pulled away. I don't think you actually want that. It just sounds great in your head. I'm just yeah, saying. Neither, Russia nor, um, neither so Russia nor China have the empirical... Uh, uh, Want, like the want to rule the world that America seems well, to have. They don't want that to is not true. Right. That is wait, not wait, wait, wait. whatsoever. <laughs> if I can, okay, I have a couple of points here. All right, uh, a while back, uh, Sour Lemon made the the uh, statement that he's against imperialism. I find that interesting because Muslims uh, have been some of the biggest imperialists in global history. Secondly. Uh, Grace called Israel an ethnostate. Do I think Israel's perfect? Obviously not. I have a lot of issues with Israel and the way that they run their laws. But it's hard for me to even consider Israel an ethnostate when 20% of their population are Arab Muslims. About half of their Jewish population are also Arabs, and they happen to be refugees from other Arab countries that were driven out by those Arab countries. And right of return is not something that is unique to Israel. It is something that countries like France have. It's, uh, you can look up the list of all the countries that have right of return and tons of countries in the world don't even have birthright citizenship so the, like all of these arguments like yes are there inequalities in israel obviously yes there is but like to call it an ethno state that's not really a justification for me and it, it just does it just does not ring true in my head um, uh, and then the uh, wait, wait, can I just Hamas, respond to that? Let, let, her wait, 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 let her finish. Let her finish. Let me finish what I'm saying. As You're not my Hamas, mommy, Lab. Shut the fuck uh, up. As, you as wish I was. Hamas, okay, okay, you guys, yeah. I, I have not talked a whole lot here, okay? Hamas, you can try to claim that they are a terrorist organization, but Amnesty International wrote an article 10 years ago about Hamas torturing Palestinian citizens in a hospital. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Hamas, uh, there were protests against Hamas this past summer by Palestinian citizens. And what did they do? They beat the, the protesters and they ended up executing people who they considered ringleaders. So yeah, we can, we can um, yes, the majority of the population may have voted Hamas into power, but to act like there isn't rampant anti-Semitism within Palestine is ridiculous given that Hamas had children's programming that glorified martyrdom um, and uh, literally killed their version of Mickey Mouse on on uh, on television to make all the kids uh, glorify martyrdom. Um, you can look that up. It's uh, it, it's pioneers of the of tomorrow, I believe. Um, it, it, yeah, it's just it, like there are just so many things that just don't make sense here. Like, uh, why why are you holding all these standards for Israel that you don't hold to any other country in the globe? Because they're rich and they're whiter. Uh, well, Grace said she had a, a response here, and I see you. I see you, Mooncake. It's hard because you're not on camera, so I can't see your hand. I know. Here. I'm so. But sorry. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Grace. Gonna pass it to Grace. Let her respond, and then we're gonna go to. Okay. Mooncake. Thank Come you. On. Okay, you said like me calling Israel an ethno state wasn't valid, but the American South was essentially an ethno state, even though there were black people from Africa here. They were given right. what was were it? They I don't know, five eighths of the vote, they something were slaves, like that, right? 
Yes, they were oppressed by the okay, population in control, slaves. which was we're, an ethnic state. They considered themselves Europe. a white country. Are they considered Arab themselves Muslims a white country. That have Israeli citizenship, are they slaves? No, I'm because not saying not it's the same thing. It's not the same, apartheid. right. So I this is what, I, you, this is what I'm talking about. Were, 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 the, were, the Africa, were the blacks in South Africa? Were the blacks in South Africa a slave? I agree were they with slaves? you that it's... And during I apartheid, were they that slaves? Is, that not all populations have the same equality, but that does not make Israel an ethnostate in my head. If you want to, you can go ethnostate light. I, I, have, go, I have curiosity. I, I don't, I, I just don't see it. Look, 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 look. Grace, I just grace, don't even grace, understand. Grace, Israel was, Israel grace, was created you, as a state for the Jews. How can you not call that an ethnostate? I don't grace, even understand. I have two questions because the Jewish Jews population not, are Arabs. No one's gonna answer yeah, my it's question. Not, it's Wait, just, I have two questions for you. One, um, do you consider uh, Israel an apartheid state? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I can't hear it, right? You don't have rocks in your head, so I can't hear it when you shake your head. I need the audible. Okay. Two, right? I don't know why two. my mic isn't working. Well, oh, yes. Aaron, your mic's fucked up. That's fair. Uh, two, right? Um, if it's an apartheid state, what uh, Arabs who uh, are Israeli citizens, what rights do they lack that Jewish citizens have in Israel. You know, I, I am not sure about that exact answer, honestly. I'm not sure about that. But what I do know is that Palestinians who have been segregated into the West Bank or Gaza should be given full political rights in the country that they're in. They should not be living in open air prisons on either side of this country. Why do you think the Palestinians in, in in Gaza are being treated differently from the Palestinians living in Israel as citizens? What do you think the difference is between those two groups? The pa I think I'm not sure, but I know I know why the Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank are being treated the way they're being treated because they will not simply shut down and let themselves be oppressed. They are rebelling against the oppression that has been going on since since the establishment of Israel, but especially since the Nakba and since the segregation into the two states. So you, so you, you, you Palestinian Arabs realize... are like Uncle Tom's? I'm confused. Like, what do you think they are? They just, they're just, yes, Jews, we, we appreciate you as an overlord. Thank you. Like, what do you think their deal is? I don't know what their deal is. What would your explanation of it be? I don't, I'm not sure. I just, I just I'm don't think sure. that it's, I don't think it's race related. I don't think that they're committing ethnic cleansing or a genocide. I think that it is strictly them uh, defending themselves and reacting to uh, multiple terrorist attacks and a violent ideology that seeks to destroy them as a state. Well, you just have to have a basic understanding that I don't think that it's right for a, an an alien outside group to come into a country. So they already did it. They already did it, though. They already did it. So what do they do now? They already did Israel's already well, it already exists you could make now. The same claim in South Africa. They should do what South Africa did. We don't continue to justify an apartheid state in South Africa, do we? Even though they oh. already did it. So, Wait, so, so what do you so, you didn't, like But you Africa already but you couldn't you couldn't Struggle describe how they're in apartheid state. You understand that. Hold I, on. I, I can understand give an example. Nelson Mandela, right? Want. Nelson Mandela uh praised the Zionists and he used the word Zionist, right? He was a supporter of Zionism, right? He also supports the Palestinian state, which I do as well. I am a supporter of Israel, and I'm also a supporter of Palestine. Nelson Mandela, right, famously said that he thinks Zionists have the right to live just as much as any other group, right? And he didn't use the word Israelis. He used the word Zionists, right? So if that person who fought against the apartheid in South Africa was able to support Zionism, why aren't you? That doesn't sound like a resounding support of Zionism. I mean, like, no one... You don't believe Nelson Mandela was a Zionist. I don't believe Nelson Mandela was a Zionist. It doesn't matter if he was or wasn't. The reality is the situations in South Africa... You're applying a list of beliefs to Zionism, which Zionism doesn't have. Zionism on its face, on its basis, is just Jewish right to determination. That's it. Yeah, that's determination. There's many different types of Zionism. Even the um, anti-Israel uh, um, Orthodox Jews, I forgot what they're called, but even they are Zionists. They're just a different type of Zionist. They believe that the reason why they don't believe in the current Israeli state is because they believe that, um, you know, the um, 
uh, the um, Messiah or whatever is going to come back and yeah. going to genocide all the Palestinians, and then they'll have an Israel state. <laughs> The, so there are actually, like, people always like to cite the Orthodox Jews, that specific Orthodox Jewish sect that is um, uh, pro-Palestine. They're only pro-Palestine because they believe that um, religiously there's going to be a genocide <laughs> against the— uh, They also don't believe the... in modern medicine. They're a wacky bunch. They're a wacky bunch. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I, okay. I did look it up. I did look it up. Palestinians who live, who have Israeli citizenship— they can't marry people from the West Bank, and they can't be in high military. Yeah. So, and there are other Jews, rights that are deprived Jews, from them. Same with Jews in in Israel, actually. If you're if you and um, the the people who um, officiate um, marriages in Israel are super super religious Jews, right? And so by by that standard, even most Jews actually have trouble with um, getting married, and a lot of them will go to Greece to get married. Mm hmm. Mm. Right, but I, I'm saying they are deprived yeah. rights by the Yeah, but they're state. deprived of the same rights that a lot of Jewish I'm, women are. I'm a Zionist if if what we mean by Zionist is that some Jews should live respectfully in Israel, and that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Okay, so that's you are My problem is a, a settler, colonial, ethno-state coming in and saying, we're, yeah, but, we're owed this. What's done is based done. On what's yeah, done is done. justification. What is I done mean, is okay, done. Okay, hold on, hold on. Grace, You're Grace, Grace. To, hold on, hold on. I'm, right. I'm the only indigenous American in this, in this panel. So let me mm -hmm. just, Grace, give me your house. Indigenous give it back. America? What's what's give the percentage? Back. What's your percentage? Indigenous? That's not the same thing. I'm not 25%. saying that all Israelis have to give, it back. give all of their houses back to the Palestinians. I'm not saying what, that. What are you it's, saying? On the marriage thing, on the marriage thing, if you talk to Jewish women, they can't even uh, they can't initiate a divorce in Israel. Like uh, there there are some there's some rights um like that Muslims have in Israel that even like a lot of Jewish people in Israel don't have. For example, if you're a Muslim, you're not required to serve in the IDF. The only uh, group that does uh, serve are the Druze. But if you're a, a different type of Muslim than that, then you don't have to serve. You're not required what, by law. That's what it's supposed um, to be. Uh, you know, Jewish women again, they can't uh, they can't initiate divorce. Um, also, again, getting married is something that is a huge issue to the point where tons of Israelis will go to cyprus and get married there instead also there the, are, it's a type of you can still get a type of married but it's like a domestic partnership is the same thing that gay people can do in israel it's not yeah. technically not like jewish marriage under a rabbi but it is still it, you do. have the same benefits here's what we're gonna do okay uh two dollars from lisa's blogger to say the Miss mickey mouse thing was israeli propaganda two dollars from bdx Lab say how hey could you rotate omar in at least and i think that's fair right um, I'm sorry, uh, Mooncake, you don't have a camera, so you're on the That's top of okay. I, I apologize, okay. but Omar has some thoughts. Omar, area, no problem. So we're going to let him in. Give me a second. Black Start women us. always getting the shit Start in. Us. The, the Omar, issue isn't whether Israeli rights are perfect. The, the issue is just whether they're the same for Jews as they are for Palestinians. It's not whether they're but perfect. But they're not the same. That's for, the they're issue. not even the same for Jewish women, though. Jewish women have less rights than some Jewish men. Uh, Jewish good. women have less rights than but some that's not Muslim my, that's no, not my argument. You, know? you don't think but that's good? Well, then not the Arab countries. <laughs> Is it good in Palestine? Okay, I want to, I want to, hold on. I want to give a chance. Omar, you got a camera up for us. Uh, that is uh, the requirement for this. Oh. Please. And then, um, The please, empowered man. Yes, please. Uh, I want to get yeah. you in on here. You are from uh, the region. Yeah, behind me. That's I'm going to be there. Yeah, we can There's hear you. Me. I want to give you some space <laughs> to talk about this, and then we can let everyone respond to you. And I promise you, everyone's going to want to respond. Go ahead, Omar. Okay. I've been listening to you guys a lot, and I don't I, I don't view Hamas as a terrorist organization, but a resistance movement of freedom fighters who are fighting for the independence of the, the people. We cannot, as uh, as Western society, just paint people who, if we don't like you, you're a terrorist. Or if we like you, you're not a terrorist organization. If you see, if we're gonna put them on the same level, Israel has killed more than twelve thousand children, destroyed seventy percent of Gaza, are actually deliberately not letting water and food and medication go to 2.3 million people, starving them purposely in order to win a war with, a, uh, with the militia called Hamas. So who's the war criminal here? Israel is the war criminal. They are occupying the country. They, are, uh, they, they, they want to take the country. Israel wants the land without the people. It has this issue. The whole Israeli or the Zionist project from day one was, we need the land 
but there's a problem. There's people living on them. <laughs> to give you a little history, in 1948, you could look it up, but with the Jewish citizens of Palestine only owned six percent of what they were given. So if you're giving away 56% of Palestine, but you only own 6% as a, that you own it, you have the deed to, why should the Palestinians give up their 40%? If I own a lot of property, this is my, why should I give it up? And you have people here like that girl in the middle. Oh, they have the same DNA. No, we don't have to see the same DNA. All the Jews from Europe are not, are not from the region. They don't have the same DNA as the Jews. The, the, the Middle Eastern Jews. The Middle Eastern Jews have more in common with Arab. We look alike, we talk alike, we eat alike, we have the same customs. Even they already uh, de Arabize them, but they still have the same. They have groups in Facebook. I'm a Yemeni. There's Yemeni Jews where we listen to music together and we talk. This is before this happened. You wait, understand? Wait, there are no more. <laughs> there are no yeah, I was about one. to say. There's nice one, and he's in no, no, what I'm saying is that... Uh, <laughs> Let's the, the, be real. The, the, I want to fact check that real hard. They're not there anymore. Why aren't they there anymore, Omar? What's that? What? Huh? Why aren't why they there why anymore? Did, why are the Jews... Why were the Jews... Yeah, why are they not there? Oh, where, where? where? In Yemen. Yemen. No, no, not in Yemen. They, they're in Israel. They have the same custom we have. They, yeah, they but where are the Yemen Jews? Where are the Yemeni Jews? The Yemeni Jews in 1948, when Israel became a state, they had no population. They have only a third of what is their population. They needed. What they did is they come with the idea, you got to go to the promised land. They pushed them all and took them in there. And the Jews that refused to go, look it up, guys. In the 1950s, the Mossad used to bomb Israeli synagogues. Israeli theaters, Jew, I mean Jewish theaters in Egypt and Iraq to scare the Jews to migrate to Israel. Look it up. I'm not like Google has everything in it, guys. So the whole idea is <laughs> the Jews were middle class citizen in Iraq. They were the writers, the poets in Egypt. They were the, the cinema, the movie theater industry, the, the, the intellectual, the pictures, everything was, the Jews had that. So in order to say that the Jews were oppressed and out of country, this is a lie. If they were middle class, if they were the 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 the, the writers, you're the just saying that they artists. had swag. All you're saying is that Jews have swag and that you hated it. Jew that no, the Arabs Jews, hated that Jews have swag. We didn't hate the Jews, and yeah, I mean, nobody hated the Jews. You guys oh, hate came. Hold on, hold on. Hate came from Europe. We didn't have no nationalism. National, uh, the British Broski. Broski. nationalism. Broski, oh, the Houthis literally. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Rashad go. Let Rashad go. We're gonna get hold this. Up. Rishad. Rishad. Hold hold up. Up. Yeah. I'm Omar, not. I don't know how you feel about the big dog. Rashad is a Rashad. Broski, I don't know how you feel. I don't know how you feel about the Houthis, but I'm looking at Wikipedia and, you know, it's looking like they said death to America, death to Israel and a curse upon the Jew. I don't know. You want to explain that one? It's not making sense. You. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I told you that the Houthis were an ally with the United States from 2000, uh, before 2000, from 2011 and 2015, they were fighting on the same side. They were killing ISIS and, and Al-Qaeda. You don't, you see, I mean... They were partners. They were friends. They would. They were fighting. Uh, the American American mm -hmm. drones. American drones were helping the Houthis fight Al Qaeda and ISIS in Yemen. The Houthi. This is just a saying. What is America is gonna die? What is it has a heart and it has lungs? What are they gonna do to America? We they literally were, helped the Saudis bomb the Houthis, though. Later so, like, on, can, I, can I add in? The yeah, reason yeah. why the Yemenis say death after, to America uh, on, is because on. of something called the Yemenis genocide. <laughs> hold on. Oh, yeah. After 2015, then we changed sides. Imagine the United States. Let's talk about terrorism here. The United States was maintaining the planes. They were refueling the planes in the air when they go kill Yemenis. And they were actually picking the targets to kill. They killed the Yemenis in weddings. And... and uh, um, uh, what is that? A funeral procession. They killed them every way. They, they killed them. They even killed the animal market. They have a market where they sold camels and sheep. They yeah, fucking bombed it. From a, let's turn this from Who's a 10-minute thing into a 20-second thing. Okay. I think Grace Thorpe is my favorite person. If you're not married, I'm going to marry you. I'm going to take you to Gaza, okay? I think, Go ahead. I think, I think, her, I think her dad will let you. Damn. That sounds fun. Grace, do you accept a proposal? Let's be martyred for our honeymoon. <laughs> you marry me and go to Gaza there, and we're gonna start this beautiful white and Arab children. They're gonna be so such beautiful kids. They're gonna look, look like Puerto Ricans. I'm, I'm single. Uh, I'm single. Uh, you, can <laughs> hang out, you can hang out. It's actually a dating show. Hospital. Uh, that's right. <laughs> can I'm gonna I, can marry I ask you a question though? 
Yeah. I'm going to marry this question. woman. Whether no. you guys like it or not, good. You're from, I like the attitude. You're from Yemen, right? I'm from Yemen, yes. Okay, so isn't it true that Jews, before yes. the whole Israel thing, were generally pretty chill and respected in Arab countries? They were wealthy, they were merchants, doctors, right? I just there, was, that. there was culture. Yes. So what I'm saying is the, the, is the Zionist movement is a, a European colonial settler movement, it's not a Jewish movement. That's right. It, it, it even hated yeah. those Jews. They hated those Jews that want to leave. Now, in Yemen, they bombed we were back... Them. The, the IDF Yemen... would bomb their own people, their own Jewish people, to scare them into going to Israel because they were failing yeah. in the demographics. They needed yeah, more the, Jews. The, not true, the Mossad, the, the, it's true. And they the Mossad, on, on, yeah. Look at Iraq and Iraq and Baghdad. In, in, in the 1950, the Mossad, not the IDF, the Mossad, the, it's like an intelligence yeah. service. Turn it from will 10 bomb... minutes into 20 seconds, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They will bomb places where Jews stay, like in theaters like uh, clubs. I mean, if you look at the, the best Jews or the most intellectual Jews were the Iraqis and the, the Egyptian, I mean, they were they were like the, the cream of the pie of the, 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 that country. I mean, the, the, the movies industry in Egypt was, was them. You understand? Oh, hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. The Jews in, in the Arab world bit the bullet because the Arab world decided to invade Israel, took a massive L. So now all the Jews living in these Arab states take a big ass middle finger. And this all makes sense to all y'all on this panel. Well, besides laugh. This makes sense to all y'all. Oh, sorry. This makes sense to all y'all. Let me ask you a question. Why would, why would Arabs be, why would Arabs, why would Arabs, why would Arabs, why would Arabs, be, why would Arabs, why would Arabs Except start, be, Except Stardust. Why would Arabs be against Jews coming in? Jews are wealthy. They have connections. They yeah. they, they are largely in a higher yeah, profession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, have, they have connections. They have a, a, a lot of them have a lot to offer the Palestinian people and the oh, Arabs. Until, until, until Israel declared independence, until Israel declared independence, now every Jew in the Arab world bites the bullet, huh? You know that what happened after Israel really. declared independence? The no. Nakba. The no. Nakba happened. What happened after? What happened after? No. What happened after Israel please, declared please. independence was in 1948. Please, I want to hear what Stardust is. I want to hear Stardust. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to let Rashad finish. Oh, Rashad on. gets to finish, and then Stardust oh, gets to go. Rashad, you want to go? No, no, no. Rashad. Let Rashad finish. You went on for 10 minutes. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Let me talk. Let me talk. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. How bad we supposed to be the brothers, man. man? We're on the same <laughs> team. What happened? What's the what? Of Hold on. Oh, I know what he's trying to say. Hold on. Rough, Hold on. <laughs> the Nakba rough. happened it's after the 1948 war in which the Arab states invaded Israel. The Nakba was not an event where Israel just woke up and said, y'all, I'm tired. Yeah, no, that's yeah, not what happened. Okay. The if Arab somebody, states and the Palestinians so, uh, started wait, a war wait, and lost. Do we acknowledge that at least? Okay. Do we Rashad, at least wait, acknowledge wait, that? Rashad, have wait, a brain wait, for wait, a second. Wait. If Russia comes over into wait, mainland wait, America wait, and establishes wait, a state in mainland America and takes oh that land God. from what Americans, happened, would America not declare war? On no. Russia, and we that are state arguing that Russia about whether we allow. Wait. We are arguing about wait, whether we're going to go soft on the wait, on, wait. on Hamas. Wait. And you are basically finish. saying we, we, are you, we are arguing about Joe Biden's response to Hamas. You are bringing up the past. We are already done. You Colonial states like America, past. Australia. Hold up! Hold up! Wait. Colonial states like Australia, the United States, Canada, they all already exist. My question is now, we're not undoing those states, so we're not undoing Israel either. The problem is you are willing to basically suggest to Israel that they compromise their national security because colonialism, imperialism. Can we please, compromising please make security. realistic geopolitical we, uh, takes here? Why do we address the elephant in the room? What Israel has an issue? Hold on, guys. Right now, let's talk about today. Between the river and the sea, there's 7.3 million Jews. Between the river and the sea, there's 7.3 Palestinians. So Israel has a dilemma. If it, it doesn't want a two-state solution, but what are you gonna do with the population? Israel does and want a two-state solution. What do you mean? Israel hold on, hold on, let me finish, hold on. 
There's 700,000 there's 700,000 American Jews settlers inside the West Bank. There is no two-state solution. So Israel has this dilemma. What are we going to do here? We want an, a Jewish state, but we got what are we going to do these Palestinians? Hold on. These Palestinians are having baby like rabbits. If we become one state and we don't give them full right, then we are a fairer on our nation as an apartheid state. If we give them full citizenship, they become the majority in 10, 20 years. And the Jewish state is deluded, and the Zionist dream is devastated. Israel will disappear in 10 to 20 years naturally, without any weapons, without anything, because the population is not keeping up with the Palestinian population. It might be true. This is the, yeah, this is the only opportunity they had. They had this opportunity to get rid of 2 million Palestinians and kind of get rid of the population bomb and stay away from it for another 30 years. But now they don't know what, nobody's taking them. So Israel has this dilemma. It has to have, what are we going to do? We're not having a lot of children. We bring in uh, Jews from Ethiopia. We bring in Jews from uh, Ukraine. We bring in Jews from Russia. It's not enough. These fucking Arabs, they fucking days and nights because they don't work. What are we going to do with these? They're like the... These Arabs, okay, just, what are they doing? They have, four, they, they, they have four wives. They bang away four uh, children okay. every night. What are we going to do? <laughs> all right, all right. right. You brought up the West Bank. First off, you called uh, Rashad a, a, a traitor. You may as well call traitor. me one too, because I I come from a Muslim background. So uh, and I'm just I'm not about this. Okay, so um, so you talk about the West Bank. Who are the people who go and occupy the West Bank? And let me tell you, I don't agree with the occupation of the West Bank. But let's be real about who are the people in the West Bank. It is one Hi. religious hyper religious Jews. And two, yep. people yeah. who can't afford to live in the Israeli mainland. Oh, they have Brooklyn. a housing here. problem. So, They're my neighbors. I'm that. from Brooklyn. They leave Excuse me. me. Sir, sir, you have been speaking for 10 minutes. Please let him speak. I mean, let him speak. He's spitting. <laughs> He's yeah. not saying let he's him come. Yeah. He's a fucking retard. Yeah. You think he's saying I mean, if the rest of you guys are going to say, he's actually a correct statement. The only person I want to be hearing from right now you, is Stardust. Go ahead. Take it easy there. Take it easy okay, there. I know you're. Can you please shut up this fetal alcohol syndrome bitch over here, please? Uh, okay. <laughs> The, the, Why am I catching strays? Curtis, you are not the one to be giving physical <laughs> insults. Come on. Uh, right. Sure, okay. Basic white Listen, man, okay? listen um, you, you, okay. listen, you look like a slug. Come on. Okay, nope. Muting everyone except for Stardust. Okay, okay. Ahead, thank Stardust. you. I don't like to get dirty with people, but <laughs> people anything. keep fucking pushing me and i have to get dirty with them i don't like it okay i it's not what i it's not what i like to go to all right so um yes yes ma'am uh, karen shut oh, up get right? to your point stardust so i muted them you're uninterrupted go okay 1948 you know we we have the establishment of israel or whatever to act like there wasn't an influx of violence against jewish people in arab states that caused them to want to migrate is fucking ridiculous i know again your mother drank while she was pregnant with you omar but that is just the reality of it okay uh secondly again the people who are in the west bank which can, again, can we unmute omar if she's gonna no, say things what's like up? That? What's up? Shut up. let me talk okay. back yo hold on hold on my mother first of all she doesn't drink my my mother she, is she 100% she's right better than you. you my mother's right in the my mother, hold on, my mother hold on hold on my mother's 75 years old she's in the other room you want me to bring her out here so she yeah, could bring her, shut her down fine. okay go ahead. first of all nice I'm tired. I'm sorry yeah. Yeah. I don't want to take any punishment I don't want to take any punishment from a curry eating smelling Indian okay. In the okay. 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 okay you want to you want to get out this we have Cook it up, Omar. Cook. Thank you. I have to get even. No, no, no. no, no, no. Sorry. Okay. I'll shut up all of you if you don't shut up. Okay. So, gang, I'm hungry. I'm not getting any more super chats. I'm not getting any more uh, thanks. And since I'm not getting more money for this, I don't want to deal with this right now. So I'm going to write out. Are you streaming? I am streaming. Did did Brianna Wu tell you to shut it down? I love all of you. No one told me to shut it down. I am mm. hungry and I don't want to. Did you hear. sign an NDA? Can you not divulge whether or not she told you to I'm shut just, it down? We are enemies now. No you one. Enemy. You are enemies like this. Uh, what no kind of you want? Diamond? You want diamond or gold? Just so aware, but just so everyone is aware, I'm in. I'm, diamond. I am diamond. paid, not sponsored, paid by progression. Rashad, you're a traitor, Rashad. No one I can't believe it. Sponsored this content. Let's be real. Uh, no one is paying me for this. No, she's just paying you to be her friend. 
kick out. In, and I'm going to kick out. Rashad, the- Rashad, how could you do that, man? I'll be there in a minute, but for now, I want to get the original guest list to shield themselves out. I want to give them that courtesy. So you're going to shut up or you're going to get kicked for now. Uh, we're going to go to, first, we're going to start with Sour Lemon, then we're going to Lav, then we're going to Rashad. And since you were so gracious, Grace, uh, to jump in last minute, we'll give Grace a chance too. And we'll rate into Stardust after. But go ahead, Sour Lemon. Where can people find you? So, uh, I run a One Piece podcast called The Pirate Odyssey. Uh, go check it out. It's pretty chill. Um, you can find me live sometimes on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash shredded official. Uh, and if you want announcements for when I'll be live, uh, then go to my Twitter, Sour Lemon. It's, uh, pretty chill. I say some things sometimes. Uh, also, the Pirate Odyssey is, Odyssey is streamed live, also on twitch.tv slash Reddit official, Saturdays at 8 p.m. Uh, watch it. It's a good podcast. One Piece is great. I'm a weeb before I'm a socialist. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Also. Brilliant. I think that, I think that means that wow, before brilliant. you're a socialist, you are porn addicted. Um, hey, I... I'm a degenerate. I won't deny it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the first people who are going in the internment camps. Uh, wow. Go ahead. I... I am Lav, also known as Leah Jane. Um, just recently did a publicity stunt. I'm writing about it right now. I pretended to be in the IDF on Twitter. People got really mad at me. The Substack will be out sometime next week. Uh, I read a lot of stuff on my Substack. I'm also working on... Shut the fuck up. I'm... Oh, I almost said the F slur again. I almost said the F slur again. I'm so glad I didn't. Um, the... All this would be lost to history in time. Also, I'm doing a new video essay. I already have one on gender. If you'd like to watch it, I got a lot of good reviews, even if they didn't agree with me. So you can watch that Sigma Femoid on uh, YouTube. Check her out, gang. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate you. Next up, we have one of my new favorite panelists, and I'm going to have him on more often. Rashad, go ahead. Uh, I would like to first disclose that I have no Muslim heritage. I'm just Black American and Caribbean. So, Omar, don't worry. I'm not a traitor. Don't worry. You have no backstabbers in your midst. Um, same, 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 same. I'm, I'm a YouTuber. You can find me at Rashad Crenshaw mm-hmm. on YouTube. Uh, and that's fucking it. Okay. So Check now we're, we're in the same group, man. Oh, give him a subscribe. And last but certainly not least, I think the first time on my show, Grace, go ahead. I think so. Uh, I'm my name is Grace. I um, stream on YouTube at Grace Thorpe, aka Joan, and I'm on Twitter, Grace M. Thorpe. And uh, hopefully, I will be visiting Omar in New York soon. I live very close, so maybe we could arrange that. Fine. Okay, well, gang, check her out. <laughs> Mike, thank you for being willing to fill in last minute. Gang, can I get a last word? Can I get a last word? Hold on. This is the last stream of the week because I'm going to Ohio. You're going to be able to find me there. Uh, we're going to be doing join the you. house from the from the 9th to 11th. So it's Friday, Omar. Let's go. Sunday, and we're going to be having fun. I'll be passing out cotton candy. I'll be moderating yeah. some stuff maybe. Maybe we'll be having some panels that are live in person. It's going to be fun. And I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be out. down this in for Colonel West. And if you like this content, and I don't know why you would. <laughs> I'm, there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Can you shut up? the other side. Hmm. Okay. I love this man. Chill in peace. Great. Jesus oh, Christ. Right, if you like this content, you can hit that like button. You can hit the subscribe <laughs> button because we do panels like this all the time. And then if you're following this on Kick or on Twitch, please, by all means, right, hit that follow button. Send me some subs. All great. Gang, uh, we're going to raid out to the Stardust. Make sure you let her know that this is a hate raid. And gang, next week, what do we got coming? Uh, we're going to have uh, Ukrainian Anna on. We're going to talk to her about the uh, situation in Ukraine. Um, we're going to have um, uh, Eucharist and the liberal professor talking about academia and what's wrong with that today. Uh, we're going to bring on um, Principles Before Politics, who has some things to say. And I believe I might be going on Stardust show at what point, but we'll work that out. But anyway, uh, mm-hmm. we'll write out and we'll see you then. Bye. Wave, everyone. Wave, bye-bye. Thanks, Wick, for letting me call in. Of course. Adios, fellas. Three seconds. Thank you again. Maybe next time I'll actually be able to talk about fucking economic policy. Look, we... It goes where it goes, okay? I'm... It went where it went. Hey, history will vindicate me. That's all I have to say on that front. Okay, thank you for coming. I do really appreciate you. And yeah, next time, let's get a planned buddy for you. I think uh, I think that'll be best. But for now, I'm I appreciated go. Grace. She did a great job. Cool. Bye. <sighs>
Yeah, yeah. Fucking liberalism, man. Fucking ruins the country. It ruins the world. Israeli propaganda is like... I don't know how it fucking brainworms itself into people so readily. They're so Americentric. And it's like, America can do no wrong, and when America does wrong, uh, it's because other places did wrong first. It's because other places did wrong worse. Uh, it's, it's because America good, and, and to sacrifice America's global he hegemony would be bad. As if we can't have Hold on, maybe I'll turn the camera on for this. Oh, is it? It's because the fucking Discord is still registered. Oh, it's because they deactivated it. Um, as if we can't have um peace. As if we can't have prosperity. Uh, as as if uh, it's like America is always in the right. And, and might is right all every time always without fail is never it never changes war never changes actually they perfectly demonstrated what i it, it meant by cut a liberal and a fascist bleeds that i now i don't even have to if i'm asked that question again i don't even have to explain it <laughs> i guess just be like i remember the last time i was on yeah this is exactly what i meant <laughs> You you think you're you're so good you you think you value uh your ideals of freedom and and equality and uh, what have you but when it comes down to securing actual freedom and actual equality it it they they never agree to it. They they always push back. And I mean, it's it's sad that liberalism is so ingrained in our society. It's like if you're holding the same position as the conservatives, obviously the conservatives are liberal too. I mean, it's either you're also conservative or you're you're both liberal and like in regards to to what benefit like specifically joe biden would get you would actually get political bucks so to speak give um not not like literal money you would get political points that's what it is because there's like this massive divide that is only increasing between the perspectives of older people and the perspectives of younger people and a lot of the reason why joe biden is struggling right now is because he's unable to convince younger populations that voting specifically for him is worthwhile because they find that he doesn't represent them he doesn't represent what they care about. He, it causes him to, to lag in the polls. So if you like actually did what young people cared about, then, you know, maybe it would gain some ground. Uh, there's the Israel-Palestine thing where, bro where uh, the younger generation is very supportive of Palestine right now. Um, there's the immigration thing where young people just recognize that his white nativist immigration policy is fucking ridiculous there's the fact that he opened up uh oil drilling i i don't know how many people paid attention to this but he opened up oil drilling even more than donald trump which i don't remember how much has been taken advantage of by oil companies but completely offsets uh, any sort of benefit that any sort of green power initiatives would have contributed uh, to a prevention of global warming and, and what have you. Uh, 
he's I I will admit he's done an okay with job with domestic economic policy in in reversing some of the issues that were started with Donald Trump uh, in in curtailing uh, inflation and putting some money into rebuilding and uh, at least delaying student loan payments, uh, siding with unions, uh, it's a fucking big one, pro-union, pro he's Union Joe, but he's also Jim Crow Joe, um, and he has not done enough to adequately provide social safety nets, he hasn't been providing affordable housing, he hasn't been providing, he hasn't actually canceled student loans, he hasn't made the cost of college cheaper, uh, he hasn't decreased wealth inequality, he hasn't uh, increased taxes for the wealthy, he hasn't I, there's probably a few other things I just can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but the TLDR is that, I mean, there's also the fact that he's really old and people, people don't want him in office because he's really old and he's like visibly decaying and nobody wants a visibly decaying president. It sounds fucking atrocious. Um, uh, but he's not, he's not connecting with people on a number of reasons and a lot of those reasons are social policies so or socialist adjacent policies uh that would genuinely help people uh and he's he's failing on the aesthetics because he's old but he's also failing on the front of not representing what people want for the most part uh, so that's why he's lagging. It just again, neoliberal policies, neoliberal economic policies have not worked. Um, capitalism inevitably leads to imperialism. Imperialism is also not good. Um, we routinely see the global effects of imperialism that are quite bad uh and our own people are not even benefiting from it um he hasn't with free health care that's that's like the major that's like a massively major one now very little attempts at free health care there there was the um they did at least start a little bit of drug price bargaining with uh uh insulin but like free healthcare, man, uh, nationalize free healthcare, and it, it open open up the healthcare industry to have more doctors and nurses and hospitals, and make it free. People, oh my God, people want that so bad. He and he also hasn't managed to codify abortion. The Democrats haven't managed to codify abortion. Nobody likes the Democrats. Why? People like the Democrats because they're not the Republicans. It's so silly. Oh, why is it voting for the lesser evil? Vote for the greater good. Oh, Jink 2024, Jink 2024, Jink 2024. Oh, Jink is rough um, from the crime perspective, but Jink 2024, man. Jank 2024. Oh, Joe Biden, please die so we can get Jank. <laughs> Collapse. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget saying Gooby. Uh, I mean, COVID is... it. COVID is going to continue to be around as a disease. We're not going to, like, eradicate COVID as, as a disease. Um, it, it, Joe Biden at least helped significantly in um it, you know trying to uh, repel the negative 
consequences of COVID. Um, a, the, the mass inoculation campaign was probably the best thing that Joe Biden could have fucking done. Um, it, it, was, it, be, it got to a certain point where uh, the only people refusing to get inoculated were people who were anti-vax, at which point, I mean, literally strap them down and vaccinate them. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it, there there comes a certain point where your freedoms are going a little bit too far because guess what they're infringing on other people's freedoms your freedom to not get vaccinated is also infringing on other people's freedoms to like be alive <laughs> uh but regardless considering the values that america holds he he, he got as much vaccination as he as he probably could have and it was a pretty successful campaign to inoculate everybody. Um, yeah, it was free vaccines. There had to have been free... Was there free masks? Was the masks distributed federally? I know I had free masks in uh, New York, depending on the um, place that I went to. Masks were generally provided. Uh, I I don't know how that actually worked, though. Uh, with free tests as well, testing being free, big, huge one. Not everywhere that you know, see, it's a, it's a little bit of failure. Uh, but but like, it was pretty. He did, he did a pretty fucking good job with with COVID. I won't I won't lie. Um, he could have done better. A lot of Americans still fucking died, but most of the issue with that is actually problems with how individual states ran. Um their COVID stuff rather than how it was federally run. And, like, you can make the argument, as I just did, that, that he should have forcefully inoculate, inoculated everybody in the country. Um, but there, I, I will acknowledge the political constraints in accomplishing that. <laughs> uh, and and I think federally, what he was able to do federally was, was pretty good. Um, uh, and yeah, they just, they should still be inoculating people. I mean, I haven't gotten a, a third booster, and I haven't been inoculated in a long time. But I should I should be forced to be inoculated again. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to to figure out how and when I should do it. <laughs> and I haven't I either haven't gotten COVID, or I'm now functionally immune to COVID. So it's not been like. A concern for me personally and i don't think that i've given it to anybody except for maybe the couple of times when i've been like in my house for a couple of days being like oh i feel awful and then the next day i'm like let's go <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i should be forced to get a third booster <laughs> I mean, it, it it literally doesn't help that I have not actually I the amount of times that I've needed to go out in public prior to this past Thursday have been like practically zero. So there's been minimal minimal need for me to get a. I I was like the last person on the to, to do list of who needs to get inoculated <laughs> after I got my second booster. Um. I mean, make fun of me for that goat. Yeah, to some extent, I deserve it. Um, it is, it is what it is. Uh, I kind of wish that the conversation uh, wasn't about Israel and Palestine. First of all, because oh boy, they were being so, so genocidal and psychotic, and oh god, it was, it was awful to listen to. I like it. It makes me ill to hear people justify relentless slaughter because like oh war crimes are gonna happen in war and uh just retaliation and uh oh you gotta get rid of hamas it's like you've galvanized hamas uh war crimes do not justify war crimes do not justify war crimes however you want to say who started the war crimes uh it's like you clearly know nothing about the campaign that Israel has conducted against Gaza because all you've 
heard and listened to is Israeli sources on the matter. Like, literally, it's insane. If you trace back any sort of factoid that they may have attempted to be said, it all comes back to Israel said it. Israel said it, therefore it's true. Israel said it, therefore it's true. You know, even though routinely they lie, even though it's routinely they, they're proven wrong, even though uh, routinely they'll, like, retract and reframe their statements, uh, <laughs> the, afterwards they'll just be, like, never mentioned again. It, Israel, man, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> they're fine. <laughs> it's fine. Israel, Israel has the right to lie, you know? God, the fucking justifying, just, like, oh my God, it's so, it's so silly to be like, America should rule the world, because that was literally what I was hearing. Reading between the lines, if you extrapolate his justifications for Americans, America's military intervention in the Middle East, he, he was saying America should rule the world. It's fucking ridiculous. Um absolutely ridiculous it was it was hard to hear so all that to say i incest craze i don't i don't even want to know <laughs> uh at least she recognizes the genocide when it's happening <laughs> um <laughs> so i it would have been nice if the conversation was about uh, economic policy because I, or even that I was by my, part of the reason, I mean, the main reason I was by myself is I didn't really have anybody that I uh, knew to reach out to, um, aside from you, uh, but you were probably, first of all, you were probably busy to some extent. Uh, second of all, I thought it was not going to be about Israel and Palestine. Uh, third of all, I actually think that Grace did a better job, first of all, than me. Second of all, than maybe you probably would have done. And if I knew that Omar guy existed, we were talking about Israel Palestine, I would have asked for him. I didn't even need to be there after he showed up. You fucking cooked him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I wish it was on economic policy. And the specific reason uh, in, in, in regards to that and being by myself is because I I kind of wanted more personal insults to be thrown my way in a way that I could respond to them, because I wanted to deliver the the following line. There are two reasons why your insults do not work on me. First of all, it's because I am pretty confident in myself and my self-image, and I don't really have any issues with that. Third of all, or second of all, I don't actually perceive what you're saying to me as an insult. If you say I'm high estrogen, why the fuck would I care? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> does it if it means I'm more feminine, then you're just being a misogynist, I guess, because you're you're basically saying that having more estrogen is making me stupider and undermining my position. And <laughs> there and that that's bad. Which means that women, as a whole, categorically, because they have high estrogen, are stupider and don't know their positions, and which is undermining your own position. Here I am, as a man, who self-identifies as a man, who was born as a man, who has a fucking beard, <laughs> and a receding hairline, <laughs> and you're telling me that my positions are bad because... Estrogen is making me have them. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's just undermining your own position. I, it's so silly. But, uh, again, I, I don't, like, I, be, I don't perceive being transgender as a bad thing, so why would I care if you call me transgender? I don't perceive having high estrogen as a bad thing, why would I care if you say I have high estrogen? It's, it's so silly. It's just, it's just silly. I, I, I like, like, Ben bends my brain that, that people can fucking, <laughs> that people want to ironically say that kind of stuff. It's like, <sighs> 
I believe I actually had a different way of articulating my two points there before, but it kind of got lost in the Israel-Palestine conversation, and I'm just, like, thinking right now. Um, I, I think it really was that I'm, like, self-confident in my image, and I also don't perceive them as insults. I, it's just, like, you're visibly wrong. And she also insinuated my living conditions, which... Oh, I mean, yes, I do live with my mom. That's like a severe technicality, because she owns the house. She barely lives here. <laughs> the, she slept here last night, which was like the first time that she slept here in, pr in probably over a month. <laughs> and I still talk to her, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's fine to talk to your mom. Um, second of all, I do have a job. I'm now employed. That's why I'm wearing this outfit. It's because I'm employed. <laughs> uh, I, I, I used to have a, a lot of free time on my hands. Now I have significantly less free time on my hands because I'm employed. Um, and wouldn't you think, and it, this comes back to me wanting to be about economic policy again, because wouldn't you think that my living with my mom is in the fact that many other people do is indicative of a larger problem in the housing market in particular but with the economy as a whole and that people aren't able to afford buying houses for themselves um like you could say to some extent that people don't want to sense it, but like even on the argument that they don't want to, that still comes back to money. They don't want to because it costs a lot of money or they can't because it costs a lot of money. Uh, it's not, it's not so easy. It's not as easy to buy a house as it was in the fucking sixties. Uh, and furthermore, the, I, would have never been able to make enough money to buy my own house at this age in the first place anyways. Um, like, maybe I could have, for the duration of my education, instead worked for, like, six years, probably earning, uh, who knows how much money, somewhere between twenty to 30000 a year, or 30, 20 to 50000 a year, somewhere in that range. Um, and I would get that for six years. And at the maximum end of that, that's $300,000. But a lot of that money would have to be spent on food, gas, uh, miscellaneous expenses, maybe like, say, the rent or utilities if I was renting out a house in the place that I was working, uh, yada, 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 yada. There's a lot of knock-on expenses that would take us... Also contributing to your 401k. Uh, there's a lot of knock-on expenses that would contribute to not being able to buy a house. Uh, and so, like, let's say we cut half of the $300,000, $150,000. That's not enough to buy a nice house in most areas. It's not even really enough to buy a house in most areas. Uh, especially, like, cities and whatnot. It's, like, uh, silly. It's, it's, a, it's a silly argument. Like, it, it, it just further proves, if anything, my living with my mom further proves my point about affordable housing. <laughs> uh... Also, if like I, you can call me a mama's boy if you want, but like if you, I I do think that it is a good thing to maintain a good relationship with your mother. She probably cares a whole lot for you, you know. Talk to her every once in a while, and there's no easier way to talk to your mom all the time than if you live in her house. <laughs> uh, but even if you live outside of. Her, your mom's house, and you know, you call her every couple weeks, you know? Make sure she knows she, you're still alive. It's it's a good thing. Um, also, multi... 
regardless of housing prices, multi-generational housing is, like, a, a normal thing in other societies anyways. Um, like, in other societies, housing is a lot more affordable. But they have multi-generational housing anyways. Uh, because, again, more than anything, it's just, it's convenient. Um, it, it is a way, it is still in those societies uh, a major mechanism of uh, gaining intergenerational wealth. Um, but that intergenerational wealth is passed down through the family in such circumstances because, like, you're all living in the same house. And if you want to, you can buy another house for more interge in intergenerational wealth. But it is just easier and more convenient and familiar to live with your family. Uh, it just is. And most societies recognize this. Um, but America is like, no, you gotta fucking go out and get married and buy a house by the time you're like 30 um it used to be like 25 and before then it was like 20 uh <laughs> and now it's like 30 and most 30 year olds are saying no chief that ain't it <laughs> nah nah chief <laughs> i buy it those them houses are too expensive that is very expensive a lot of work to take care of <clears throat> um I have to, like, move? I need to get a job near the house that I'm buying? <laughs> that's a... That's a it's, pretty, it's pretty rough, man. I'm, I'm gonna decline. <laughs> uh, I mean, shout-outs to my two brothers, who, uh, the oldest of which... Actually, is... Does he live in a house or an apartment? I don't actually know. I feel like it... I think it's an apartment. Don't quote me on that. He's almost 30. Um, and, but my other brother also definitely lives in an apartment. But, like, apartments are also an issue. Um, uh, a renter's economy is how you keep people fucking poor. <laughs> it's how you keep people in poverty. By having them pay more money over time than they would pay in a flat payment because they can't play, pay the flat payment. It's, uh, it's awful. Air, Airbnb destroying, destroying the uh, housing market. Ugh. And then in regards to like... Sp uh, actually, that, I was going to say something that is actually kind of irrelevant because the one time I'd gotten Airbnb for an internship that I had one time, um, I, I, the, the Airbnb was owned also by people the people living in that house. Uh, so, but, like, it is my understanding that while you can Airbnb in your own house, um, the market for, like, Airbnb and such companies is people owning multiple different houses, um, that they rent out for, for one reason or another. Um, also, shoutouts to the Flexicans. Flexicans. I am not a flexican, but I will flex for the flexicans, even though it's not very impressive. Just, <laughs> my arm looks exactly the same. Oh, no, you, you can see it move. <laughs> Mostly looks the same, though. That, that's, actually, that's actually bigger than I, than I expected. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fucking weak-ass nerd. Um... It's just like <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a weeb before I'm a socialist. That's what I that's what I told them, you know. Weeb before socialist. I watch a fuckload of anime, and then and laughs like that, that means you watch a lot of like fucking porn, right? And I'm like I'm I'm a degenerate. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I mean I don't have a problem with it. I'm pretty I'm pretty open about my degenerate. There's some things that I like don't say out loud. <laughs> about my degeneracy but it's there <laughs> and it props up every now and then because i think it's funny <laughs> uh i mean i don't i don't think it's a problem jack off the anime girls <laughs> i don't think i don't think it's a problem to jack off so i don't think it's a problem to jack off the anime girls <clears throat> um 
I mean, the vast majority of the anime that I consume is, of course, non-sexual, but I do... I am, I do thoroughly enjoy sexual anime, and not necessarily due to the sexual gratification. Uh, but some of them... Uh, how, how to say? So, like, I suppose it is sexual gratification. There's, like, a, a few different dynamics here at play. I, I, I appreciate sexualized anime for the sexual gratification that they give, uh, even when that sexual gratification is not through the act of masturbation. Um, I, I, I can still appreciate the, the, the titillation that I feel from watching some, some boobies flop around, even if I'm not wanking to the, to the boobies flopping around. Um, but, the other element to this is that a lot of times, sexual, uh, sexually, like, geared anime is just fucking funny. <laughs> uh, on, on, like, all levels of the spectrum of, of sexualization, you have hentai, which is funny because it's really stupid and contrived and ridiculous. <laughs> a lot of which you, like, can't jack off to because it's, if anything, kind of gross how ridiculous it is. But if you can... A lot of times that gets in the way of, like, enjoying it, even from a funny perspective. But, like, Redo of Healer, for example. Uh, a lot of the stuff that happens in that show is, like, very deplorable. But, man, is it funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it funny that that shit's happening? Uh, and then you, you work your way down, you get, like, the etchy shows, like High School D&D and Psychon no Quasar, where it's just, like, funny that there's tits everywhere. And, and the tits are moving around. Um, High School of the Dead, very prominent example of this. I don't think they ever, like, show titties in that one as compared to, like, High School D&D. But it's a very funny show because of the boob physics. Hysterical. And then you work your way down. Um, gushing over magical girls is very funny. Uh, even though, you know, it's the um, sexual exploitation, I suppose you could say of elementary school girls as uh, at least mo most of them are not all of them no there's a couple of adults but there's a couple of consenting adults uh but most of them are in late elementary school uh which is not el wait no not elementary school um what's the one between elementary school and high school i don't remember but it's that one they're in like late that age group and there is like a a school an elementary school girl or actually i think it is elementary school grade school is the is the young one and so there's also a grade schooler in that show but she actually doesn't is never on the receiving end of any sexual acts um because even japan has standards sometimes <laughs> Uh, I don't remember if she does anything to the other girls, though. Regardless, that show is very funny, regardless of how you feel about sexual content. Um. Anyways, I got I got really off track. Um. But I I I'm pretty like flippant about insults because like, what's it what's it matter? You know, I. <laughs> I I'm not so insecure as somebody's insults is going to make me upset. I'll I'll get upset if you're insulting downtrodden people uh or marginalized people. It, that's a better term for it. I I'll, I'll get upset if you're uh attacking marginalized people uh because they don't they don't des they don't have the position of, um, I, I suppose, con uh, confidence uh, or, or authority that I have. Um, like, there, there is... You can always go back to, like, the slur conversation. There is no slur that you can say to a white American, especially a white male American, because you actually can say, you know, cunt, to... to <laughs> to women <laughs> and depending on the context prominently if you're not Australian that can be very offensive but 
there's there's realistically no slur that you can say to a, a white American, uh, especially a white American male, that is targeting in, in, or, uh, that is that is really damaging to them. Uh, that is really a signifier of oppression or status in the same way that you can that you can for literally any other ethnic group of people uh, or population of people um because not just ethnic groups because also you, I, I did mention women before but mainly transgender people like you can just there are slurs for transgender people there's slurs for um homosexual people and uh, these these words are signifiers of historically what their place and position has been in society and as such they are very offensive to say because you are basically saying to those people that they are lesser you cannot do that for a white person because they do not have that experience that historical experience they do not have that contemporary or historical experience at being the as being the uh targets of oppression they are the oppressors so there is no slur that you can say to white people uh that is offensive Anyway, Cam Cam, if you're still here, if you want to, like, do something and hang out, um, I think I'm out of things to say. Uh, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Uh, history will vindicate me. Uh, cut a liberal and a fascist bleeds. Um, I know that quote is from Stalin, and people don't really like Stalin, but I'm telling you, it's pretty, pretty fucking accurate. It's, it's, a uh, it's pretty, it's pretty. Uh, um, fuck Israel, uh, legitimately. They don't, they don't deserve to, <clears throat> they don't deserve to exist, um, in the way that they do. Uh, I believe, I, 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 I muted myself and said it during that conversation, but, uh, uh, reconciliation and consolidation. And also, of course, reparations. Reparations come in the process of the reconciliation. The reconciliation and consolidation. Uh, e e evidently, two-state solution not, <laughs> not it doesn't exist right now, and it's not uh, a long-term solution, and it's not the just solution. Um, whether you call the consolidation of Israel and Palestine Israel or Palestine or maybe Israeli Palestine or Palestinian Israel um or you could go back to the Ottoman terminology of historic Palestine the name of it doesn't matter and you can decide that name through referendum uh, what matters is that all of the people living in that area are uh, have have self determination and equal rights. Um, they can decide amongst themselves how uh, it's it's all divvied up. I I suppose and how the reparations happen and, and uh, external countries can facilitate that. Um, but at the end of the day. The just thing to do is a single secular state, and it, 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 having two separate states can be an interim solution, uh, uh, such as like a, a ceasefire could culminate in the establish the actual establishment of two separate states, but the Palestinians would n still not be better off for it, uh, and the actual solution is to. Um, re, 
reconcile and, and consolidate. Uh, they have the right to return. I fully recognize that. <clears throat> uh, but that'll that'll be all for me on this session. I'm planning on uploading this to uh, the gamers YouTube channel as like a a thing. Um, even if it's not gaming content, I still want it to 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 be there. Um, peace and love on that front. <laughs>